Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. Have ourselves a snack. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, ad is brought to you by Coca Cola. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you got to take a wee wee during the movie, please exit your right. <laughs> Well, I don't know, man. Coca-Cola, the taste of the real thing. <laughs> Coca-Cola make you take a real good shit. <laughs> Coke is tasty, though, man. Are you old as shit and need life alert? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Wilford Brimley. Yeah. <laughs> Wilford Brimley? Is he still alive? I don't think so. Probably man. not. <laughs> he was like 800 years old in the 80s. Yeah, that's right, man. I, I'm over Brindley, and I, I was in Cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that shit's real. That's why I'm fucking alive today. You know, <laughs> <laughs> if, if Wilford Brindley did a commercial and he brought up the fucking reanimator agent, like, it's like, <laughs> that's a diabetes. <laughs> This is the only life alert I need. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to Cinequest Video. Hello and welcome to Cinequest episode number 46, I think. There's a four in there. 46, you're correct. And on this episode, we're going to be talking about the movie Reanimator. And this is going to be part one of our Reanimator trilogy. What are the movies in the trilogy again? Uh, good uh, question, Roland. <laughs> it is Reanimator, Reanimator, Reanimator and Beyond Reanimator. Beyond Reanimator. Beyond Reanimator. Beyond, Beyond. Beyond, Beyond. <laughs> Beyond. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and uh, if you are new to Cinequest Video, this is the podcast that delves into those VHS classics <sighs> to the modern day format streaming service or torrent. Deep. On the down low. Deep. <laughs> However you get your media. <laughs> right, and uh, we just those there movies and beyond. So fancy. <laughs> uh, okay, so again, this is our first. Uh, this is the first. Uh, of this is part one of a uh, reanimated solid trilogy. start, Ray. Yeah, yeah. Far, <laughs> yep. <laughs> let, let, let me let me start again. Let me start again. Part one of five of the reanimated so, trilogy. This is, this is why I don't drink too. Do you need a bag to breathe into three. or something? Or uh, uh, actually, Ray, I think you need to drink more. That's the yeah, I should drink uh, more. Maybe. Yeah. Hold on. You're, you're nervous, Ray. You seem anxious. You, you got to take the edge off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Um, uh, before we get started, let's introduce everyone who's here. My name is Ray, one of your hosts, and then we have co-host number a. Deuce. Deuce? Yeah, <laughs> number Deuce. Good, yeah. Nice. Number <laughs> Deuce. Yeah. Number Deuce. Uh, this is Roland. And in uh, the Pacific Northwest Studios. Pause for dramatic. Just kidding. This is Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> like, like my video was frozen or something. <laughs> you know, just, no, no. <laughs> And then we also have um, joining us in studio. Yeah, this time, Bryce. Bryce, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. Awesome. So, <laughs> the man behind the black shoes, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, uh, before we get started, I want to ask everyone uh, is, was anyone familiar with this movie? So, I think I told you before that uh, I hadn't seen Reanimator, but watching it, like, I, I was mistaken. Like, I actually had, I just never seen it. It's like completely through in its entirety. I've only caught bits and pieces of it when I was living on like fucking USA and TNT and shit. Really? Yeah. The reason why I remember it was because of the uh, the fucking. Well, like I mean, we're 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 not getting into it, but like uh, yet. But I, I'm the I'm scene, gonna, right? The no, scene? It, the, the fucking scene? headless goddamn professor. Like, yeah, right. That right, is what right. I remember oh, seeing. The when I was little, like, scene. yeah, I fucking, and I always loved it. I was like, oh, that's cool. But then I got bored and I would change the fucking channel. Again, I was little. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I didn't know better. <laughs> Please forgive me. And uh, so I didn't know so shit maybe else. you aren't evil. <laughs> mm, thanks. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, I, this was the first time, like, I sat through it in its entirety. Like, I would seen, I'd caught bits and pieces of it before. Um but yeah, like I, I have, right I, am, on. I am familiar. Uh, what about you, Daniel? Familiar. Nah, man. Um, we should. Uh, I know that uh, you dig this movie, Ray. Like, 
Um, I do as well. I did not know that, Bryce. Yes. But just from various uh, interactions with uh, Ray in the past, uh, like, decade or so, like, it's been like, oh, okay, like, he does dig this movie. And I've only seen, like, the cover. So, like, if, if I had a blind test where it was, like, no caption, like, for the titles blocked out or whatever, like, oh, that's Reanimator. Yeah. Um, right. I've only read the Lovecraft story. And when right. I watched this movie, it was a bit of a trip because I haven't read that fucking story for like five years because mm-hmm. a few years ago I just bought you know like the compilation of Lovecraft bullshit and then just devoured it just yeah it's pretty quick to go through right. I, I still I have yeah. it myself I still haven't uh, read the uh, reanimator uh, yet. yeah and so I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna go right back into it though so I did read uh, the case of Dexter Ward or whatever the fuck it's called Curious um, Case or whatever the fuck. Curious Case uh, yeah I, forget. Well, I was thinking like Benjamin Button even though right. I haven't seen that movie <laughs> like, yeah. like yeah. um um, I was I was telling Ray before that like I I haven't read it but like it 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 sort of confuses me a little like I I get a little uh, crossed over with uh, uh, w- w- f- uh, Herbert West with uh, uh, Charles Dexter Ward mm-hmm. um, because mm. of like just a few things that I guess they have in common uh, or seem to um, but I'll, well, I'll, they're I'll supposed go to into that. like and we can talk about that later yeah. but yeah, yeah like yeah. so when I watched this movie I was like. This is really fucking different than what I remember from the story. <laughs> and I remember yeah. the story very vaguely. So after I watched the movie, I hopped on the Wikipedia just to get the, like the synopsis of the story again. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, there's three things in common with this fucking movie. Mm-hmm. Two names <laughs> and reanimating the dead. And the green juice. Yeah. yeah. Although, uh, I, uh, the, glow, the glow stick I, juice. I would, I would like to say... Uh, I um, I knew Bryce was a huge fan too. Oh, oh yes, yeah, Bryce. I'm, uh, I'm super ahead. jealous of a uh, Ray's t-shirt he's got. <laughs> well, not the one he has on right now. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's all the black that 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 goddamn pocket. Yeah, yeah. What, it's, Texas, bro. It says uh, no, no. I yeah, I was from this movie. I've seen I've seen the trilogy. Uh, the Third one, probably haven't seen it too much. Not too familiar with it. I mean, I've seen it once, but I don't remember it. I, I don't recall too much of the third one. It's not the one I revisit. It's always the first one and the second I, one I've yeah, seen most. I so like, actually like the second one. After it's watching more this, I really want to go and meet uh, Jeffrey Combs again so I can get a fucking reanimator poster signed. That kind of shit. Oh, I, yeah. So let's um, go into that real quick, Roland. Um, last year? Yeah. Last year, Roland and I went to Texas Fright Mare Weekend. It's my birthday month. Um, was his birthday month, yeah. and we went to Texas Fright Mare. And drunk as fuck with Joe. The main thing that we were intending to do, was to and was mine, Jeffrey was Combs. to meet Jeffrey Combs. Like, you mm-hmm. planned it, and then you told me about it, and, like, you told me who you wanted to meet, who's going to be there. I was like, it was, it, it, like, the way you made it sound was that it was set up around Jeffrey Combs, and I was like, yeah. fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> Just the whole Jeffrey like, Combs yeah, fest. Dude, yeah, dude, I was basically. like, I'm going. <laughs> well, actually, they, they were. <laughs> like, I love, actually, Jeffrey Combs is so the, cool, the cast, The cast of the reanimator was there. <clears throat> You had uh, oh really? Yeah, you had Crampton Jeffrey there? Combs. You had Bar- Barbara Crampton, Ooh. and you also had uh, Abbott, whatever his fucking name is. Oh, Ray, that's the one you should have gotten. Though. Well, she was right next to him, oh, and she was like yeah. right there, and mm-hmm. we saw her. Yeah, and I didn't. I wanted to spend <sighs> enough money on Jeffrey Combs shit. It was such a shit show, though. Where like, you're like uh, what was it like to get hit from the head? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she would have just smiled and been like, everything. Right. <laughs> e- everything was like, she's on, like, ha, ha, security. Yeah, <laughs> everything was such a clusterfuck and such a fast track, like, yeah, that there was no time to actually talk to anyone, mm. you know. And it was super like not uncomfortable, but like just, you know, just. Like you could tell that, like, uh, like it was just it, it was too it wasn't uh, set up. For they weren't they weren't uh, at all prepared for the amount right. of people that were going to yeah, be there. It's all. a small like it's a we, small place, we, and what happened was that Roland and I got in line, <clears throat> and then at some point we were kind of like yeah, mixing some, in with the line of yeah, someone else. Yeah, and they gave us tickets to say like. You here's a ticket. This line is so long. Yeah. Just leave. Just leave, and then, and then, we'll then come back. You. We'll call you, or yeah. you come back, and we'll it was, it was so let you back stupid. in line. Oh, sure. So Roland and I actually went to a Q and A with uh, right. Felicia Rose yeah. from uh, Sleepaway Camp. Yeah, it was a Shutter Q and A. And the guys Q&A. who do the Shockwaves podcast. Um, and we were there for a bit, and again, it was really crowded. I started falling asleep. Yeah, and at some point <clears> or another, we 
And it was hot as fuck too. Yeah, there was so many that was the there. thing. Like it was like a fucking swamp nuts. Or we at some point place. I was like, all right, this is enough. So we go like, let's go and see if the line has died down. We get back. They'd to been, the I Jeff think they'd been calling us a few times or something. Well, they probably called, but we get back in line and we say, hey, we have tickets. And they fucking and they, put us right in the. They front. put us right in front of the fucking line. Like dude. awesome, let's get the yeah. fuck out of here. Wow. Like, and so, like, what, what ended up happening, the reason why it got so fucking Although, crowded, there was a little instance where we didn't have the cash. We oh, had to get in line at the God, ATM, which was a bitch that's also, right. to that's get right. the money. Yeah. We like, went back, they, and then they, they put were it back actually in line servicing again. that ATM as we got there, so we had to wait for them to fucking <laughs> Yeah, fix so it. someone took yeah. out money, we got in line, and the guy's like, oh, I'm going to fix this. And we're like, fuck, this so we like, have yeah. to go Murphy's to another law convention. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, like, they, they're so, it was so stupid, man, how they fucking set this up. Like, again, like, oh, okay, like, oh, it's just going to be Jeffrey Combs and some of the people from your animated fucking series. Like, maybe, you know, like, it's a small venue. So, it was a small venue in size, but like, in execution, like, they fucking booked fucking, like, Every goddamn horror, like, yeah, so icon. They, they had uh, the people from Reanimator, they had uh, Tim Curry there. Had, no, oh, sure. he was, oh, yeah, yeah. Right, but we right, didn't get sorry. to see him that's because right. he Tim was Curry. always kind of like in and out, and yeah. Stuff like that. He was just, he was still um, sort of recovering. They had Jenna Jameson there, mm-hmm. that's right. Mm-hmm. They had <laughs> she was like pretty much promoting a zombie stripper, I was gonna say, yeah. 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 Zombie stripper. yeah. Um, was Robert England there. Yes. Yes, he was yeah, there too. Was. Well, also, the, the, the other, the other, the other big line. name that was there line for that was yeah. uh, Joe Bob Riggs. Oh, he was there too. Uh, and Bruce yeah. Campbell, motherfucker. Bruce Campbell. Uh, fucking geez. Sam, Sam Raimi was there. His brother. His brother was there. Elvira was there. Oh, was oh there. shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, we didn't. We didn't have a chance to meet anybody. Them. We, we just saw him, meet him. <laughs> and, then, wow. and, and we just walked. Jeffrey Combs was the goal, and we and we accomplished that. Accomplished that, and like. <laughs> got to, I got to shake his hand and take a badass picture with him, and I got a fucking a Ray poster Ray like, of. Oh, can I sign your tits? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just, just picked up my shirt. This right? bullshit. <laughs> we need to go to another con and cover it as a team, um, any con really, and just see if the same experience. Because basically, it was like we got to see a lot of celebrities in the distance, like Lando at the Comic Con we went to. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh man, that was so cool. We got we fucking met Lando, Peter Mayhew, uh, uh, um, Ray Parks. Uh, but we that didn't was, have time um, to like yeah. say hi to a lot of people. I mean, because like we did uh, Ernie, Ray, we did Ernie Hudson, uh, Peter Mayhew. Because like when Adam you West, and I, when you and Bert I went Ward. to go meet, that's right, that's right, Adam West. Where was this? It, it was Wizard World in, in Austin. Austin, Austin. Man. Austin. Here, here, so, here's like, the thing: is that the time that we went, it was like 2010, roughly. Yeah, and. Yeah. A lot of these cons weren't very popular at the time. No. So we had enough space to like roam around, yeah. get in line, meet these cool. people. We had to sneak into like where the press was for the right. Billy yeah. Ray oh, yeah. or Billy D. Williams <laughs> fucking Q and A. Yeah. And then we watched. Uh, <laughs> did we watch the fucking start of Ghostbusters with? We uh, we saw Ghostbusters. Yeah. With, uh, yeah. Uh, then, Ernie, Ernie, Ernie Hudson, Hudson did a fucking yeah. Yeah. like little like, quick. Chat. I need to look. I need to look. I have the fucking Polaroid somewhere. I need to look for it of Ernie so, Hudson. I mean, basically, I, mean, I thought he. W- I thought he would be taller. <laughs> oh, and Bryce. So to make this clear, like how uh, like not popular cons were about a decade ago, we got to sit in the front row of oh, yeah. the fucking Adam West and Burt Ward Q and A. Yeah, we just walked in, sat there. No big deal. How many people would you say and were? And we were like that? way back in line, but somehow we still filtered in and got like prime ass seats. Fucking man. watch it was Adam fucking... West do his bat to C. It's fucking yep. great. Um, I was I was gonna say like the only motherfucker that I have ever walked up to that like I felt like a dwarf next to him was like when we went went and met Peter Mayhew. Like, <laughs> yeah. Daniel is the tallest massive. motherfucker I know, and he was taller than Daniel sitting down. Oh, shit. Like he fucking shook, <laughs> he shook my hand. Yeah, he was like on a fucking like a bar stool or whatever. Like, but like even like hunched down, he towered over me. Good God, and... it was ridiculous. And um, so like I shook, I shook Peter, Peter Mayhew's hand, and it was more like I like. I don't know, like uh, was like a I, child. Yeah, shaking exactly. Like he, yeah. I didn't shake his hand so much as he shook my arm. Oh, you okay. know, and I was just like, Jesus Christ, his fucking ring fits around my oh, neck. Fuck. Like, goddamn. This is like all cartoon style. Your hand comes back like an accordion and shit. Yeah, yeah it was <laughs> fucking awesome. It was so fucking cool, and I was just looking at this guy like, you're sitting down. Like, goddamn it. All right, yeah. thanks, dude. Like, like I'm like. 
I, I, like, heard- I had time. <laughs> I had time to go to celebrities with no money and just be like, thank you. And yeah. then I fucked off. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> fucking wow. um, Walter Koenig, uh, Lou Ferrigno. I yeah, you went with, to Lou Ferrigno. Uh, that was funny. Like, I was an asshole. Kevin but, Nash. Oh, really? Uh, fucking. Well, yeah. Um, again. Yeah, because he just wanted. They're just there to make some, some oh, money. Yeah. So, well, like, I, I have an uh, uh, experience with Lou Ferrigno. I mean, um, <laughs> we. we uh, me, me and my friend Ernie, we went to Dallas, and uh, my friend Juan as well. We went to the Wizard World up there, oh. and um, oh, nice. this was like back in 2006, 2005, somewhere around there. And uh, what happened was that me and Ernie were kind of like sitting or like standing right next to fucking uh, Lou Ferrigno's table and just watching him interact with people, right? And then uh, there's a guy who's like talking to Lou Ferrigno, just talking to him, talking to him, talking to him. And then he's Lou Ferrigno signing... Uh, his autograph, right? And after the guy's done talking, he looks at him. Lou Ferrigno looks up and says, $20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's also deaf. He has to so, say, you know, he is he's also say, deaf. Like, so. maybe he's yeah. deaf. Like, what is he going to do? You know, like, <laughs> you, you, you're you not going to expect a fucking and, lecture from and him. And just to, like, give hear. some more context of, like, how unpopular, like, these cons were. Um, before The Walking Dead got, like, really huge. Right. Um, I met... Uh, What's his oh, face? we met Will Wheaton. We met uh, Wheaton. Uh, mm. LeVar Burton when they were all the Star Trek people oh, were there. And uh, we right. also had uh, you met, what's met his um, name? Norman Reedus. Yeah, there you go. But the thing is, the next year when we went, like no one could get near uh, Norman Reedus. Right. How popular yeah, yeah. That. Yeah. Like we got up there, he was shaking everyone's hands, saying hi, hugging yeah, people, like yeah. just being real cool. But it, the more popular he got, the longer the line it's, got. It's all because of Boondock the, Saints the, the bigger, too. Yeah. yeah the, oh, and that guy, the guy who, the guy who was a co-star with him in uh, Boondock Saints, was there. Nobody in his line. <laughs> and and Michael Roker too. Aww. Like. In fact, the, the the next time I went to go to the con and uh, okay. don't turn down that Walking Dead con. Uh, <laughs> um, Ralph Macchio was there. Oh, oh right. really? He was there. Wow. Nobody in his oh, line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> Nobody in his line. Man. He, we went up to him and we were like, so uh, can we just get like a picture with you? He's like, yeah, sure. Or like whatever. And uh, he was like, so this Norman Reedus guy, he's uh, he's pretty cool, huh? And I go, <laughs> and we're like, not as cool as you, Ralph. <laughs> 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 nice, nice. He, just, he, just, he just fucking laughed and like was like whatever. So. Uh, he was a really cool dude. Yeah. Uh, but um, you were just hoping he's gonna give you some of his blow, Ray. Mm, yeah. Right. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Like, how do you how do you stay so old but yet so young at the same time? <laughs> lots, um, lots and lots. But anyways, um, lots and lots of. We met uh, Jeffrey Combs and that was really cool. Mm. He yeah. He was. We were able to take pictures you with him got and a reanimator poster signs right. I got a. Like a, a still of his picture, right. yeah, yeah. and he he wrote the quote on there. Uh, what the fuck was it? it? Was about the cat. He's oh. like, "What do you expect me to say? Like, uh, dead cat? Uh, <laughs> oh, in the right, fridge yeah. or dead like cat that? in oh, fridge. Put, let me put on a note or whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 Dead yeah. cat he, he in fridge. He, talk he, later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dead cat in the fridge. Talk later. He wrote that on the fucking. Uh, <sighs> yeah, that's thing. awesome. <laughs> and I'll actually post. Um, a picture of it on uh, I need to, social media. Uh, I'll, and stuff I'll like get that mine too, we, uh, so I can send it to release you. Release the episode. Well, we we should. Uh, so I was I was mentioning that we should post <laughs> the fucking pictures we took with them, and then those those posters. Yes, uh, there is a I, there is a picture of uh, me next to Jeffrey Combs because he was <laughs> when when I when I walked in to like take the picture, like I have like a, a strip club mentality. You just, you just you just kind of like eh. don't touch. You kind of just stay there. Yeah, and he 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 walks in. He he puts up his hand. He's like. Oh, no, no, come on, come in. He puts he puts his arm he puts he puts he puts his arm around me and like my you look at my face and it's fucking ridiculous like how like I'm just like ah. I I saw I saw Ray doing this and I was like okay it's time to go in <laughs> so yeah I took the picture I didn't even fucking wait like I put my arm over him and I'm like yes we couple feel uh, at the same situation whenever but, I met Ernie Hudson and oh yeah um, like Doug Bradley too so. Oh yeah, fuck oh, yeah! Is that one? Is I that remember one too? when nice. we when we met Ernie Hudson. Like you took a picture with him first, Daniel, and then I took a picture with him. And I did a thumbs up, and he Ernie Hudson sort of gives me like a like a weird like oh okay I guess we're doing that. You I know? think he fucking I had did a the thumbs same. up actually. Yeah, yeah. he, did, he yeah, yeah. did too. Yeah, and then but like when I did it, he gave me like a funny sort of look, and I was like. 
whatever. I'm happy. Take the pick. You know, like cool. Um, I, I I look like a like like a like, yeah, a, like a girl you, melting in his arms um, or something. Yeah, when and that's the same picture I take with me. everyone. Hold me. When you met Ernie Hudson, though, did he tell you like uh, as long as it's a steady paycheck or a hefty pay hefty <laughs> fee, I'll sign anything you want. <laughs> no, he didn't. Uh, say that. Uh, oh, no. do, um, do, do you want to know what I told Ernie Hudson when I met him? Oh yeah, yeah. you ahead, you yeah. you were actually had a pretty good conversation with him actually, like a slight um, little. I was, riffed him at first because I was like, hey, like Mr. Hudson, like. I know you have, like, I love all your other shit, but, like, I want to say that me and the other five people that watched Oz loved you in it. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what was his character? Was he, like, man, the, the, I the, thrown the, some the warden? warden man. He's the warden. I, I, I want to throw some Congo stuff in there. Man. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fuck yeah. Congo, man. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I, run, I run away. On the future, Sin <laughs> Stop Congo. eating my sesame yeah. cake. <laughs> that wasn't him, though. That's Tim Curry. Uh, that you could have told right. Tim Curry that. <laughs> I know, that's what he was fucking telling. That was what he was telling. Yeah, that's, no, that's, that's what he no, was no, telling. No, uh, no, that was no, the no, warlord, no. dude. Oh, that's the, right. The, Stop yeah, eating my sesame. Fuck it. Fuck, that's right. That's right. Rolling. Son of a bitch. No, that's mm, mm, <laughs> shut the fuck up. For they're both so black. So right? when Roland gets to be oh, yeah. editing, some boys oh, be like, "Oh my god, you. Ernie Hudson," <laughs> and the guys all in a fucking wheelchair. Um, all, oh, so like, and you was, fucking insult him like that when Good you don't know. You go I to you were the warlord. You go to you, you go to Ernie Hudson and say, "Stop eating my sesame cake," and he just looks at <laughs> yeah. me like an asshole. <laughs> he, fucking, he fucking signs at the general. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. He's paying for it. Get the fuck out of here, you know, like, idiot. Uh, no, like, so... You should have said you loved him as the principal and the substitute. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> fuck nice. you, dude. But, okay, so, like, we have um, listed two cons where we have seen, collectively, Ernie Hudson at, right? It was... Yeah. And one of the saddest things is that, like, he has to, like, hustle at these motherfucking things for money. And the saddest thing was... And I've got a note somewhere stashed away where I was... I was fucking repulsed to see a commercial where he was like hawking car insurance or something. Oh yeah, he's doing that now too. Yeah. Wait, who? Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson. Yeah. Ernie Hudson. He's yeah. Like car insurance or some shit. Yeah, whatever pays the bills. He is. No. I yeah, but I was just like, dude, how like? No. This don't is how it. we treat our heroes, <sighs> I guess. I mean, <laughs> how, how, how far the the mighty? Like <laughs> shit. Uh, Joe Namath is uh, selling like life insurance and shit. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, wasn't player. wasn't Tom Selleck? Tom, Tom Selleck is yeah. also. Nice sports I think. Fuck him. I think he was also doing <laughs> like life insurance or some shit. I'm old. I'm Tom Selleck. <laughs> How the the what uh, these NFL guys that like try to like hawk shit after the hey, fact. They the, the, the cream, of fucking the dollars. cream of wheat guys doing the same thing. So. <laughs> um, so well, of course he's gonna. Joe Namath is gonna fucking hawk life insurance. I said, if you got the concussions like I do, like Nolan you Ryan, <laughs> I think he was doing like. Like AC commercials or some shit like that. Oh, like, and then the dad from really? Happy Days fucking, did yeah. fucking like old people stuff at one point commercials. Yeah. yeah, a lot of them do that. Like, you know, the life alert and all that crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, so like, I hope I never live to see the day where Ernie Hudson's in a life alert commercial. <laughs> Man, I, I like how they have uh, life. I'm sorry. I like how life alert has, uh, I've fallen and I can't get up. If, if you don't have life alert, who are you going to call? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. The, I've, the, I've fallen and I can't get up. That's fucking trademark. Oh, Jesus That's Christ. That's trademarked by them. How do you fucking, I don't know. Yeah. Well, no. Um, <laughs> Ernie Hudson's going to be like. Although I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Uh, right. I'm afraid to be one. <laughs> right. I, I, I'm, I'm afraid of falling and breaking my hip. Yeah. <laughs> I don't um, want Dan Aykroyd coming to get my ass later. Right. No. Well, Dan Aykroyd's going to pedal fucking uh, Crystal Skull Vodka as he's on uh, his deathbed. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ernie, oh, would you like your family to be invested in Crystal Skull Vodka? Yeah. It's it going to take be care Crystal of Crystal Skull yeah. Viagra. Right. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, fucking, like, I, I, distilled I, I, through like three crystals. What is it? The, what is I, it? I the think diamonds. It was, what kind of diamonds are the zirconian diamonds oh, or something? Yeah. Like but it's like, it's like all it is is quartz or something. It's like another word for <laughs> yeah. quartz yeah. or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Super, super, super tough. You say diamonds and make you up the price, man. Like you just up the price. Cubic zirconia. It's called branding, it's called marketing. Like that's called. all it's called. They call motherfuckers. They don't know what glasses. <laughs> um, just just to sort of, I guess, wrap it on that shit. Yeah, I'm gonna go get another. No, drink. no, no, I'm just saying. I'm <laughs> I saying knew, like, I knew. Oh, that was, I knew that was what I'm he was saying. Like, print it. Like, point it towards you. 
Oh, the mic, not the, off to the side. I thought you. Were, I thought you. Were, I thought that was the <laughs> yeah. the, the universal. That's how I would have been like, yeah, I'm gonna go get one more beer. Don't worry, we right. saw it's touching that you, you worry about. Thank you, you right, yeah. for worrying about yeah. my my alcohol level. It is inadequate <laughs> at the moment, and I. I hold will, on, hold on. I will fix that. Go get it. Go get it. Right no, now. I need to finish my sentence. Just give me a minute. All right. No, I wanted to sort of wrap it up to where like because we started this off talking about Jeffrey Combs. Um, oh, did we? I didn't? Uh, <laughs> I didn't get to mention Wait, that. This like, is a reanimator episode, right? We uh, no shit. Wait, what? No, no way! Like this I is. I thought we're doing uh, our like con con experience from, talks. I thought I, I thought this was uh, uh, the the thing sequel or whatever. <laughs> I mean prequel, whatever. Um, no, so like, uh, interestingly enough, or w that I didn't get to mention before to me, like when we were talking about Billy D. Williams, like. Had, you you got a chance to see his art, right, Daniel? Like the motherfucker yeah, is pretty Luther goddamn made, good. Dude, like it was, it was expensive. Awesome. It was expensive, he but it was this, uh, all fucking so bright. Star he did this, Wars uh, art, man. Empire Strikes Back themed like lithograph. Oh shit! And it was uh, it was fucking interesting. Now, pretty good size, man. Like yeah. it was like a nice little like wall piece, man. Come now, on, now hold on, guys. He didn't do like an Andy Warhol style Colt forty five or something. Nah. <laughs> Man, like oh, they made those jokes yeah. in the Q and A. Oh, okay. They totally like the made those like jokes. The, the Campbell's him. tomato soups, the cold they, like <laughs> they they made those jokes at the fucking Q and A. Uh, and what what was they? What did they ask him, dude? Like they had an Some awesome kid question. came up and asked him like if cold forty five was good or whatever. Uh, yeah, or some bullshit. And then and he's like. Well, Did your parent ask you to do that? Yeah. <laughs> what for you? Twenty so, bucks or some bullshit. Cool. Yeah. Somebody asked him that like. What did they ask him? They're like, how does it feel to be the coolest motherfucker, you know, on the planet? And he was like, uh, uh, like real humble, like, uh, I'm not, I'm not that cool. And like the guy had already walked away and he fucking walks back and he just leans into the mic and says, yes, you are. <laughs> he, just fucking yeah. leaves. he just fucking leaves and the guy's like ah, that was awesome but so like yeah like that was something i wanted to mention like he was he was really good like you see a lot of fucking older actors are just like old people in general be like oh i'm gonna paint like the landscape some trees and some grass and shit and billy williams is like all right star wars okay. you know well, yeah man i mean awesome. do what you do what you're known for man and so, uh, so the he was flipping like I don't know how many copies he had, but they were like not a lot, like not a lot. Like much, a pop, it was yeah, how exactly. Were they? How much were they? Yeah, 150, 150 pop, think, 200. Like, that. like it depended on the size and like the complexity. Well, you said I these guess. are lithographs, so it's not like original. Like yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, was like, like his like his original painting of it, or like I. So they weren't all lithographs, oh, I believe. Okay. Like some of them were. Yeah, like, they're like up they had like painting. regular prints, mm. and then like the a like so like like ones, uh, and smaller ones, oh, were the fifty or something, yeah. like uh, in eight by ten like, size. Were his like own done like by personal his like originals were those were like 150, oh, 200, yeah, 300 three yeah. hundred bucks, and I was like, fuck. I could, I just paid fifty bucks to get Adam West's signature. Like, <laughs> yeah. God yep. damn it! Like, yeah. oh, like, and twenty five mm, bucks to send the Batmobile. God son damn of it! A bitch. <laughs> yeah, still got that shit. Um, so twenty five for Chewy. The uh, oh fuck, that was, that was so great, right dude. There. That was so. I'm so happy that we got to fucking go to that con. You know, like, we like, met some. You know, like cool con, cons are like dude. like minimum like forty dollars now. Yeah, for a signature. Oh, to get the, oh like right, minimum yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually yeah. got Tom Savini's signature. For forty dollars, sex machine, and I mean that's right. He was also there at the fucking horror fest. He was there, but I, I did it the year before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, no, I'm uh, just remembering because like there were so many goddamn actually like, the -listers actually uh, Roland the the year before when I went like it's the reason why I thought it was going to be fairly easy for us to like meet yeah. all these people is yeah, because yeah. like when I went and met it Tom was the Savini, same, it was the same place. It was, it was the same place, exact same place the year before, like. Able to move around, able to go from place to place, yeah. get in line, meet all these people with no fucking problem. No. But the year that Roland and I went for some reason, it, it went up. fucking like again, cons are getting more popular, but like horror is Not getting anymore. even more popular, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And again, it's because Joe Bob Joe Bob's coming back. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the old people are like uh, older uh older um horror stars icons. of yeah they're all coming back yeah mm -hmm. so people want to meet them and then they bring their kids Fucking bruce and campbell looks sharp as shit. fuck dude like he looked like he was ready to film and yeah. speaking of which i did meet bruce campbell one time and he was also very fucking cool too yeah oh, fuck he's he's cool smooth motherfucker um but so like i, I was i was mostly going to end on that like when we met jeffrey combs like it was it was fucking cool like the couch right there um, they had so many fucking fans, like, and it was super interesting. Like, there was a guy that was right in front of us. He actually brought original art, reanimator art that he painted. Mm, you nice. know, and yeah, was and like, gave it to him, would yeah. you? Yeah, like he was like, here, like this is for you. 
would you sign this other one? You know, like he yeah. signed another one. He fucking gave this and it looked fucking cool. Like I wish I'd taken a picture of it. Um, but uh, I, I mean, like, again, like my experience with Jeffrey Combs is that, I mean, I was aware that he was a part of the reanimator trilogy, but uh, like I'd seen him in a lot of like the other bit, bit parts that he's done. And I've always fucking loved him. Like I always thought like, he's just <laughs> like, he fits a, like a particular, uh, like a particular horror, horror stereotype. Well, and, the yeah. one, the one I saw him in was in the Frighteners. Oh, that I enjoyed right. the most. Uh, oh, the Frighteners right. is amazing. I fucking, yeah. I love that movie so much. And like, I remember watching it. Not, I mean, Damn, Pete, Pete, movie Pete, shit. fucking Peter Jackson. I don't know where, but and, I remember and, watching and Michael J. Fox. And man. so, like, that was. My so buddy. that was sort of the reason why like, I, I watched that movie because I was like, okay, this looks like the poster for it looks fucking cool. You know, it's like a face fucking like stretching in from the wall or whatever mm -hmm. and it looks sinister and cool oh, as fuck oh shit and then like when Jeffy Combs was also in fucking Star Trek oh yeah mm -hmm. dude oh, oh played, fuck um, yes yes the, yes uh, Andorians was, or the the blue guys uh, uh, he was in uh, Voyager dude, Enterprise and he's, DS9 he's been in a lot like yeah. I was gonna say like I remember him from Enter I think from Enterprise and Jesus uh, I, I love seeing him Enterprise. in anything dude like the last the last thing we saw him before we went over there was uh um Oh fuck! What the fuck is his name? Stan versus Evil, the the one uh, I think that's the name it was. It I think was it came a, out yeah, that. yeah, that's 2017. Yeah, I was just looking. He at the had a yeah, cameo as like too. a like one of the demons, a cam like a like a yeah. gambler demon or something in there. Yeah, and I remember oh. watching it. Not, huh? Shit. Is it Stan he has versus a Evil? Turtles connection too. Really? Wait. Yeah. In the Secret of the 2012 <laughs> to 16 cartoon version. Uh, uh, yeah, he's done a he lot. He was of... the Rat King, and oh, shit. oh, okay, cool. I mean, um, I, I I've seen Jeffrey Combs in a lot of uh, he's done Lo a lot Lovecraft, of things, spe like guy... specifically like Lovecraft adapted I, uh, movies. I, and I wish and, I had a chance uh, to speak I to him. Castle Freak. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's he's also he plays Edgar Allan Poe in uh, Stuart Gordon's. Uh, Oh, uh, the Raven. The Raven. I can see that man. He's got and a big he, ass forehead. I mean, he man. did a fucking. He actually did a fucking great job. I can in that. See he's a good. He's a Poe. good fucking actor. He's um, really great. And I, but I loved him honestly. Well, because I guess the first movie I've seen him in was Reanimator. But I love him in Reanimator because he plays. Uh, it's weird because like the okay, well, like we're not we're even getting into the movie yet. But like the, the character of Herbert West. To me, they you I guess people would see him as evil, but I see him more as like a no. Nietzschean yeah. type uh, amoral. Yeah. yeah he's yeah. like all about science. Exactly. And he plays that character. It's like all like for the furtherance of science. Yeah. And he's got that smugness about him, but he's not like an, a complete asshole. I guess he kind of is, but he just plays that character so fucking well, man. I don't yeah, know. Like, yeah. this, this he's, movie like, made, he's made for this movie. He's man. an asshole because he's... Because he comes off as arrogant, which like it's sort of deserved. Like the yeah. guy is a fucking genius. Yeah. You know, and so like if you've ever met people that are that smart, they are kind of fucking mm. like slightly full of themselves because they don't have peers necessarily. Oh, yeah. Like it's hard for them to meet like someone that they would consider, you know, like ne not necessarily they're equal, but like in, in the same like vein of their, their, their work or mm. whatever. Like yeah. someone they could talk to about like – their particular uh, uh, expertise. No, Roland, specialty. it sounds like you're speaking out of experience with them. Uh, <laughs> da hey, Daniel, help. Hey, you, like, wait, you, yeah, a, l a little uh, bit. I'm sensing some uh, wait personal. A <laughs> wait a minute. Like, D Daniel can sort of back me up that it's not all, like, I'm, it's, I'm not sniffing my own farts or whatever, that kind of thing. Um, it, Roland, it, it's, what were you talking about? I actually kind of tuned it. out there for a second. Lame. <laughs> no, like, so I was I was talking to, like, uh, explaining to Bryce, like, how uh, Herbert West's character, like, he's, he's not, like, I, I agree with you. I don't really think he's, uh, like, evil, like, in this movie. Like, I, like he's he's somewhat amoral, but not in the in the sense that it's just like, uh, oh, I don't give a shit about anything. It's more in that, like, look, he, he I He cares have, about science. Exactly. Yeah, like, the, my focus is that. knowledge. My focus is discovery of science or discovery or, or breakthroughs. Of Whatever life. the cost. Yeah. Exactly. Which, and, which, honestly, man, I think a shit ton of, uh, you know, any kind of scientist, I think, especially in like real experimental fields would probably be like that if there weren't a uh, fact for there's like an ethics code and right. laws and shit. I mean, there, there are things. He's going that, beyond the law and doing whatever right, like he exactly. feels that he needs to do. To like, and there are people like that. Yeah. Uh, you you talk about uh, a couple of years ago, and I guess it's still going on about how uh, there were some scientists in China that were working with CRISPR. I don't know if you, you guys have heard about that, that yeah, fucking gene, gene editing. editing yeah. Exactly. Uh, uh, 
And um, the guy, the guy that they 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 tried striking down for it or striking, uh, uh, not necessarily disbarring him, but like they were they were trying to blackball him or whatever, was because he wanted to like he didn't want to wait for it to develop further to become like slightly safer or more mm-hmm. palatable to the to the populace. He's like, nope, we know this works. Let's test it on some kids. Yeah, man, you just know, like Herbert West, that's kind of thing. thing. <laughs> like like <laughs> they like, the character like as, as I, I as guarantee silly, you, as I guarantee you these people. I saw fucking reality. Yeah, he probably hey, yeah. Like, inspiration. Like, Herbert, Herbert Herbert wouldn't take any bullshit oh from his God. peers. Jeffrey, Je- <laughs> Jeffrey Combs is my idol. Yeah. Uh, so, so like Herbert West's fucking uh, <laughs> situations. I guess I can understand when you're like, like I want to know about his story. Like, where's that story? Fucking Lovecraft. Right. Like. <laughs> Herbert West, well, like, I mean, yeah, I guess I mean, he's so like, obsessed was getting with, at, like, reanimating what, uh, was, fucking What was Herbert dead. West, like, yeah, what was he like as a kid, well, you I know, think, like? What I, I think what I was trying to get at was, like, uh, the scene, well, basically the relationship he has with the uh, the doctor, and, like, he's, like, mm-hmm. always, because, actually, it's funny, because he's, he's not, it's, I guess they're... Undergrad students, or I don't know. No, no, they're they're they're. Uh, he's, he's not they're, a doctor. They're going for they're, 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 they're doctor like students. They're going for premed or, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, because he's sure. challenging. He's challenging the older professor or the doctor uh, yeah. about his methods and like, have but you ever had was, anybody do that shit? He was very like standoffish about it. He was like, uh, "I think your your studies are outdated." Yeah. <laughs> like he yeah. just the, met the guy. Like antiquated was the word that yeah, he antiquated. used. Okay. <laughs> and I mean, you could see it in the guy's face is that he was pissed like because rolling. he, he, yeah. he, he yeah. went there to challenge him, like yeah. specifically. It was great. Yeah. And, and I think rolling. like, have well, you had anybody snap pencils during you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was, okay. Yes. Like that, at, at that point, like he was like uh, directly going and like challenging him. But when he first met him, like in the lab or in the, uh, like that operating room that yeah. they were in, uh, well, maybe it was the morgue. Um, I forget. But I was in a classroom. What are you thinking about where he's uh where like he's introduced to like what's his face? The other the the, the main lead. I forget the guy's I, forget, yeah, I, I need to look it up, either. dude. Um Dan. He, I think uh, Dan. Yeah, 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 Dan. yeah. Like <laughs> he uh he's introduced oh, to they're him. in like they're like in the they're in a classroom, dude. Office, was aren't it? they? Or no, 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 or no, no. It was it was either the morgue or a lab oh. kind of thing. And like, it wasn't when like he was showing him the brain. It was the one like right yeah, yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in like and the dean's office or some shit, and he's in I don't there. No, because oh no, 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 no. The, no. the dean brings no, him. No, because like, uh, fucking Dan was wheeling a body down. That's right. Dan, like he was wheeling a body in or some such, and then like he goes back and uh, hold on, let me. I, I need. I need, I need to know the names of these motherfuckers. Uh, hold on. Uh, come on, buddy. I don't remember the name of the. Uh, the, I guess the villain, if you want to call it yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Doctor Hill, I there believe. Doctor. Okay, so like when he, when uh, Herbert West first meets Doctor Hill, uh, he does like like discount his studies, mm-hmm. but he does it in a way that like it's not it's not in not like directly sort of in like uh, intentional. Like he's just sort of casually. Uh, he's not directly venomous with his. Like, right. No, he's just sort of casually. Uh, um, he's just like this other dude's like research is like, you know, light years ahead of this other shit. And uh, oh, like, yeah, the, you, the, like acknowledging yeah, that. Like the, he, the dog, the doctor that he was referring to as Hans Gruber. The guy. Yeah. Hans Gruber. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The guy from Die Hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh, Which I, I found hilarious because when he said it was uh, Hans Gruber, I was like, Hans, that sounds fucking so yeah, familiar. And I was like, that's the guy from fucking Die Hard. Yeah, after he fell yeah, off the building. Yeah, it's actually he, like uh, Brewster it, or something yeah, in the original story. Yeah. Uh, after yeah. he fell off the Nakatomi Tower, he reanimated him. <laughs> 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 it worked. Yeah. It worked. Yeah, Dan Dan uh, Dan Kane is the uh, the uh, other sort of main the hot shot. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Doctor Carl Hill, played by David Gale. Before before we go into that, real quick, uh, let's just go over the characters, just so whenever we reference it, we know. Uh, uh, well, I mean, let's like, know who we're talking about. So we have Herbert West, who is um, played by Jeffrey Combs. He is the main character here. Um, we also have Megan Halsey, Halsey, and that's uh, Barbara Crampton. Uh, Dan Kane, who is Bruce Abbott, which is the, the other guy that we said we saw at the convention. We have Dr. Carl Hill, uh, who is the 
the doctor who the main antagonist. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. Herbert West is kind of like rival battling guess, over yes, yeah, rival. So and uh, Dean Hosley, who is the father of Megan. Yeah, who brought uh, the Herbert West over? The last yeah. remaining um, Protestant. Speaking or of uh, the oh, dude Dan, Thank Dan. Thank you. is it Seriously. worthwhile to bring up that? <laughs> He's got the fucking hat like a pilgrim and shit. Like statement that. I made about the possible Ninja Turtles connection, Ray. What? Um. Uh, about this Dan mostly King? for Bryce, I guess. You can cut this, I guess. Um, <laughs> but the guy who played Dan Kane for like three quarters of the movie or some shit, I thought he was the same guy who played Casey Jones. In oh. oh, right, <laughs> yeah. right, right, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> Tell us of, uh, no, what the fuck's his name? Uh, not Tell us of Wallace. What's his name, bro? I, I don't I remember like, his name, but I know so him from like many other things. I was, I was, like, I was like, wait a minute. It was like Ninja Turtles was his breakout role. He's bald now. Like, what the fuck? That guy's name is Super Bowl. Elias Codius. Elias Codius. Elias Codius. Tell us of Wallace. Why the fuck is that guy's like an old actor. Anyways, yeah, uh, Elias Coteus. Oh, man, that guy's been in so many fucking movies, too. Anyways. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's a great actor. Uh, that's funny, though. That would have been awesome if he was that guy. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Just bust out the hockey mask. Like, um, what's going on? So, 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 again, like, I um, I don't think that Jeffrey or, or uh, fucking Herbert West was, like, sort of directly challenging uh, Dr. Dr. Kale or whatever the fuck his name was at first. Or Dr. Carl, excuse me, Dr. Hill. He, uh, when he first meets him, he was just sort of like, oh, it's you. Like, you're going to be my teacher. Like, eh, yeah. I, I think your research sucks. You know, yeah. and he just kind of like, uh, well, I'll was... look forward to seeing you in class. Yeah. Or whatever, yeah. you know? <laughs> he, had, he had to make reference to the fact that um, he would, he said that the brain stays alive for like six to 12 right. minutes. Yeah. Six and to then, 12 well, minutes. That's specifically. Like, he was six to 12. Yeah. So yeah. he was dropping down factoids as yeah. Herbert West would probably like think about it. And like at every uh, sentence that he disagreed with, he would snap a pencil, you know? Yeah. And it was like, oh, oh yeah. That the, was in the brain reveal scene. Though. Right, yeah. exactly. So like when he in immediately class, following, yeah. when he meets him in his class, Herbert West is just sitting there kind of like, okay, say your shit, you know? And then like he would get worked up because like he would say something that, he didn't so agree with, with that fucking scene when fucking Dr. Hill's like, maybe you should get a pen, yeah. Mr. West. Yeah. And, and I was like, so he gets ink all over himself. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, well, like, he he gets to him <laughs> so easy. Yeah. He gets to him so easy. And yeah. then like. Well, I, I mean, he gets to him so easy because like previous on the day before. He right. Fucking yeah. Told he had like, already sort of like intimated that like, I don't fucking like you. I think you're dumb. And then, like, well, okay, well, he's so, talking like, his, like, well, it's not even that he's, well, no, that he's like, saying that he's dumb. He's so saying like, his research and his uh, theories so are dumb. Well, so he's saying he's so that, that he probably takes that more personally. Because you know? he tell he's saying he stole it from. No, Ron he said he says that. Okay, he okay, like uh, to to or he's not he's not expounding upon anything. He's just kind what of borrowing he says, from what exactly. No, like that he says that during uh, the class when he finishes giving the lecture herbert west walks right up to him and is like hey like you know like why don't you actually come up with some original research instead of just like fucking uh Plagi plagiarizing like writing like, like plagiarizing right in the coattails yeah. of like the guy he studied from before like in in switzerland that he came over from here uh okay so he was studying underneath follow. him and he's just like he's like well, he's, yeah. he's basically he accusing like, him of stealing whenever his, whenever his, dean hosley like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. yeah 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 whenever yeah, dean hosley like, like men, like brings him that, in and mentions that he's going to be on, uh in his class and then he mentions that he was studying under Hans Gruber. Right. You saw him the kind of like tightened up. Tightened up. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So like he, he, he knew he knew that Hans Gruber's research was probably a little bit ahead above, of his. Above, yeah, yeah, ahead yeah. of his. So like he was already like um He's already, he already felt inferior. Right. Like, he, he you felt, saw he it already in his felt face, attacked. You know? or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And so like he didn't he didn't accuse him of stealing uh his work. He just accused him of like not having an original idea. It's like, why don't you no, just use your own research? Because yeah. he was like, I mean, you're like, basically doing stuff in, that indirectly. Like Dr. Gruber talked about like 15 years ago or like, some bullshit. Like, it wasn't, he called him out in that first meeting. Actually, I, I don't think I he think was directly it. saying he stole from me. I think he was just saying that like, why don't you come no, up with your own- No, he was just using tired ideas. Right, yeah. exactly. He was like, why are you saying yeah. the same shit that had already been taught? Like, why don't you come up with your own fucking ideas or whatever, you know? Like, well, don't no, you no, no, no. I think it wasn't like, you know, come up with your own ideas. I think it was just like the, the field has moved and you're behind the times, dude. Right? Yeah. No. He he like he so he mentions that when they first meet, and that's uh, not what you were fucking saying, though, Roland. Uh, no, like I was, <laughs> because again, like I don't think he was telling him that, like that he was like committing, you know, like like fucking plagiarism or whatever. According sort of to thing. your dissertation, I, I think it was more along the lines of that, like, okay, 
um, this the the people that the the professor that we trained under like established this body of knowledge, and instead of trying to like develop your own things, like you're just sort of pushing that along because it's already been established. You know, like you're just teaching. You're not like researching, sort of thing. Um, so, I don't think that was his intent at all. Eh, I mean, you don't have to fucking agree with me. This is just what I thought. All right. Agreed like, disagree. Well, I just I think that like Herbert West is just like so just like he's. You know, study under Gruber. Like, he's he reanimated is, Gruber yeah, for and, his own intents and purposes. Uh, yeah. And lost him <laughs> yeah, just yeah. due to a mishap. Right. Like, yeah, what, what does he say? Like, you killed him. Yeah. Like, no. Uh, he, I saved him. I, I saved I, him. I gave him I life. I gave him life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alternate movie scenario. Fucking <laughs> Herbert West we fucking go. keeps Gruber alive. Doesn't get busted in on by that fucking secretary and the cops or whatever. I like the... Uh, um. And then I like the little he bits of German perfects they have. reanimating life, oh. and people never Eris die. Told? Well, I mean, technically, he what, are you are you referring to the fact that he, if he kept Gruber alive prior to him injecting him with then the he wouldn't have needed to have, like, to have, have left have, like, Gruber all like, like fucking uh, would have never come to Miskatonic University. Well, can I, I that was that was a Anything question that has to do with Lovecraft. So I was going to Miskatonic. That was yeah. that was a question I, I wanted to bring up. Was that. Did Herbert West kill Hans Gruber in order to bring him back to life and like to as a no, test, or like, did he just? I don't think did. so, man. I think, I think he, he died, been man. Dead. Like just and, well, cause he, because to me, the way he talks about him to fucking Doctor what's his name? I'm sorry, Hall, uh, Doctor Hill or what's his well, name? maybe Hans Gruber like, was just as, legend, as amoral yeah. as uh, well, uh, Herbert West. That no, he the way he's defending him, like the way it's just yeah. to me. I mean, that's and I know possible. Roland's contention is that he's not. Plagiarizing right, not, it. I'm not saying he maybe he's not plagiarizing, but anyways, the way he kind of sticks up, like, oh, you know, Dr. Gruber, like he right. he like he had not, this he believed or he discovered this shit like way before you did and all that. And like yeah. I feel well, like he was I don't I think he was more like a mentor to him in some way. Well, I, I'm saying this. Well, I don't think he would have killed him. No, no. Well, I'm saying is that like it was almost intentional. He said for Herbert West to kill him in order to test the serum because he was like so dedicated oh, to Oh, you his think Hans bullshit. Gruber was like like I want to die. Like, yeah, kill me, bring, bring, like, like, inject me, bring me back. And if this doesn't work, you can kind of carry on the studies. That, because, that sounds uh, like some wasted plot. Because that sounds like more interesting than what they actually. Well, that kind of just like, sucks, it almost like, seems like it's hinted at in the very beginning. Because I mean, if he's at the very beginning of the movie, the guy's dead. We don't know how he died. We don't know if, what he died from. But the fact that like, if he if he's just as almost if, crazy as Herbert West, he's willing to like get his light, like. Kill him, so, or like uh, maybe like uh, regarding uh, fucking uh, the Frighteners, you know, in the Frighteners where Michael J. Fox mm. tells the girl to like, like kill him yeah. so he can go and like fight the ghost. Right. Just, so. just think of, yeah, exactly. Just think of the fact that like Hans Gruber <laughs> told Herbert West to kill him for the research and the science to further it Ooh, and you know inject what? him with the just, serum just, so he could bring see well, if it works, thought, bring him back to life. Just a thought, know? too, man, because they said. The fresher they are, I guess, the more cognizant they are as it yeah, comes yeah, back. And, exactly. so, and so maybe like, he had been dead for a long time. They're, they're trying to keep to within that six to 12 minute window. Yeah, yeah. Right. But I mean, regardless six of the fact, it doesn't work minutes. regardless because I mean, like, yeah. Um, he would have to like up the up the dosage or like do like change the serum a bit because like anytime he brings them back, it to life, varies. Even if they are like fr- pretty oh, man, fresh, I have a they, whole I have a whole thing with that because well I don't know if you want to talk we want to talk about that now I don't know if you want to get further into it because I do this is already just yet we still haven't even gone to like the we really haven't even fucking yeah like, we're just talking about because what, what I have to say is it ha- is regarding the doctor he brings back later we've got time we've got time oh I so I don't know okay. if you want to talk about that now or you want to go back like you go, go for later it. Um, I think we should go. Wait a little bit. Because, wait? Okay, so, yeah, because it's way, plastic, the, way later in the plot. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> I like what you were talking about uh, in, uh, as far as like uh, uh, Hans Gruber's uh, plot <laughs> or whatever. Uh, I don't think the money I, from the only, Tower. The only reason I don't think it's true, <laughs> the only reason I don't think it's true is because uh, it's it's too elaborate. Like I think it it would fit the plot really well to explain like uh, like Herbert West's uh, like I, I I guess his. Um, uh, like his his uh, his training before, mm-hmm. like yeah. he's introduced oh, in the movie true. before he goes and over to Miskatonic, this, yeah. Like to see where like some of his he focus and develop drive. the reanimating agent. Exactly. Like mm-hmm. they don't explain that. Like they just say, "Oh, he did it all himself." Like mm, did he? I don't yeah. actually. All right. So oh, he was expanding on that guy. That Doctor uh, Gruber research. died by like natural causes or something, and then it just occurred to her to use yeah. reanimating <laughs> bullshit on him because. Um, 
Herbert didn't just go to his whole like new life at Miskatonic and people ended up fucking disappearing and shit, you know? Because he's like, oh, if he was like so obsessed by the science, he was a madman. He'd be like, oh, well, it's so easy. Just like bump someone off and. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, uh, like like well, uh, like all a man with your brain. Know, yeah, yeah. Well, well you know, well, I mean, I mean, you can <laughs> kind of like, style. can't you just like assume, uh, <laughs> isn't there like an assumption where. <laughs> he kills where the cat. killer. No, 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 no. I mean, yeah, he killed the cat, but the thing is like. No, it's suffocated. No, well, hold on, hold on. We'll go get to that in just a second. But the fact that the doctor may have told, Hans Gruber may have told. fucking explanation. I'm sorry. I love the explanation he gives about the cat. Like a God's head stuck in a, what is like a peanut butter jar? Or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> His head got caught like, Most, in a jar in the uh, trash. Yeah, <laughs> the most humiliating death like, for the cat. Like, oh my god! Sounds and like right. my cats are stupid as fuck, but like, and there are hazards in my apartment, like plastic wrap and shit, yeah. and like, never, never have they fucked with it. <laughs> like, well, yeah. Hold so on. I'm going to go, all right. go a fucking huge change here. First of all, that's the whole point of the fucking whiskers. They, they're they supposed to yeah, they, be they able they to tell can, the spaces they can't get out exactly. of. Exactly. Yeah. Danger. Oh, is that, is that the know. case? I never knew that about That's the, the point of the whiskers, man. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to, that's why I tell you never to pull the whiskers or like like to pet the whiskers. Right. If it yanks out, they actually don't. I don't can they yeah. go on back? Or? No. They should no be I have too. no idea. Like, it's, it takes a while. Well, anyways, that's the whole point, man. It so they use cool, it to tell like, they can get the spaces. They can't get out like of clipping yeah. puppies' ears, like boxers. I hate that shit. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. I mean, it's bullshit. And they yeah. look more adorable with the floppy ears anyway. So, like, why would they want those, like, <laughs> aggressive, fucking triangular fucking cuts? Like, it's bullshit. It's. Okay. Uh, Forget just, right. What were you saying? What, what I was saying, what I was saying before is that, like, informally. you were saying, like, he, like, about him killing the cat. Yeah. Or allegedly killing the cat to bring him back. But um I I I'm assuming this is this is what I think is that like the f- the first time that he tried the serum was with the doctor. The sure. doctor just blew his fucking eyeballs on. The the doctor yeah, told him great, like I love that let scene. me let me be the experiment on humans. Let me try, let me let me die or kill me or something. Inject me with the serum and see how it works. He can further it. But the thing is, like, whenever he but saw the, whenever he saw the doctor come back to life, and yeah, his fucking eyes blew out and shit like that. <laughs> like, so he's like, it does work to a to an extent. Yeah. So let me start experimenting again on minor things. If he can't, he doesn't have humans available to him mm. so at the time. My, so he goes and starts with the cat. You're right. Yeah, well, he does say but, that he tested it on like rabbits, yeah. dogs, yeah, yeah. and other like small animals. So basically, uh, he, he's going back to square one my, whenever he tested it on the doctor. My quick uh, question that, you, like, but go, well, no, hold go on. Ahead, go the ahead. thing with the cat, if if you remember what he says, he did that purposefully because he knew that would get Dan to. Oh, right, right, yeah. Shit. No, he no, has no, manipulative no. too. Like, he did, okay, here's the thing, too, man. You think he you purposely just said, killed the cat? Wouldn't you just said, I ran the fucking cat over? Yeah. And get his head stuck in a fucking peanut jar? I, Give me a fucking break, man. You could have just said, like, oh, I ran it over. I'm sorry. Well, it's then, a fucking cat. Well, I mean, yeah. if, if, he, like, if he runs it over, there, like, there implies more questions. It's because, like, well, who let the door? Who let the door open? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, why? 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 Oh, then he can. Then, it was then you, he, motherfuckers. Then, then he because might, you weren't paying then, attention. to thing, him, yeah. You're too busy fucking. Yeah. Then he could blame Herbert you, West you for doing rabbits. that, so he would like have something against him. If the cat he brought the accidentally cat. kills himself by sticking his head in the peanut but God, jar, that's the most uh, well, yeah, asinine like, yeah. fucking no, thing, like, man. I mean, the may, only maybe uh, Dan Kane is just more gullible, so he, uses, he says that just to kind of like I would call bullshit on that explanation is because throughout this movie. Herbert West has been shown to lie. Yeah. Like, he's been shown to, like, oh, hey, what happened to my dad? Well, uh, we were kind of stopping him because, like, he oh, killed shit. this other <laughs> yeah, guy that scene. and, like, ripped he out just, his heart, like, yeah. murder. Dean, Dean like, Halsey went crazy. Yeah, like, yeah, so, so uh, we're referring he, to the, the Dean, and that's Megan's dad. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, like, he's been story. shown to lie. Uh, to like fib or whatever, little lies that turn out. (laughs) Well, like that's probably how he sees it. You know, it's like, look, things were really fucking ridiculous. How do I explain this? It'd be easier to lie. You know, like, well, I mean, nobody's going to believe me if I tell him I the think, truth. I think he does that again. He's going to lie, tell a white lie or whatever. Right, yeah. Because it's more important for him to further his research. Than right, yeah. To, like, he wants you know what? to. The only shit. crime that this guy is actually really, like, guilty of is stealing that microscope. Because <laughs> 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 yeah, there's no fucking, proof he killed the cat. Man, there's that, no proof he killed fucking, Grouper. When well, no, guys, no, only, no, Daniel. Only, like, uh, he, he, is, he is quite indeed uh, guilty of murder because he did kill Dr. Yeah. Hill. <laughs> With a, <laughs> With a which, which is one of my favorite... 
favorite fucking but scenes to see. Dr. Like, Hill just, became like Thanos quickly. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, oh, no, well, oh, like, what was it? The the Black Lantern? You strike me down, I will become more powerful yeah. than you can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, he became fucking with uh, zombie Jedi with someone with his bo- torso fucking holding his fucking mm-hmm. head. Um, <laughs> so <Yes>. like, yes, <laughs> yeah. ah, right. you bastard! I've always loved yeah. you. Yeah. 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 We'll get to that. We'll get to that scene in just a minute. <laughs> <Yeah>. Jesus, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> um, you know <laughs> so yeah like i uh, going back to again like on um, the, the character of herbert west i, I don't think he's <laughs> <laughs> the guy's not evil right hey that's right he, he's not he, evil she right? comes first guys right yeah always always you know what that is uh, that's, that's consideration. Yeah, that's all right. right. <laughs> that is that's what that is. Okay, so um anybody regarding the synopsis of the movie, the movie starts off with uh, Herbert West who we've discussed earlier. He um is he injected his um I guess his mentor Hans Gruber with the serum and it, he, uh these folks are coming in to uh, go ahead. Ron. This is a fucking screenplay of you know like the hp lovecraft story if anybody hasn't fucking figured this out by now that's right herbert west the reanimator um any collection original uh complete collection of as hp lovecraft you can find this story in there everywhere and uh just a real quick as the the story itself was written in parts and in parts uh, yeah so basically uh it's written it's six parts the story and is this just the first movie or the entire trilogy? No, no, no. I'm talking about the story uh, itself. Oh, yeah, yeah, the story yeah, okay. at the just time the original, they were like, like, was based yeah, 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 he was right. paid five dollars per portion of the story. So right, like six yeah. parts. That's what Lovecraft he made. Was he made thirty dollars off yeah. of this fucking Which story. I, yeah. Okay, it, with consider inflation, how much is that right now? Ray, go. Eighteen <laughs> fifties money. Come on, go, Ray. 1850s. It like, wasn't that early. It was like well, in the 40s. Bryce, and we can write 40s yeah. now. When, so. was, when was when was Lovecraft active? Uh, he was active late between 1800s, the late late 1800s early 1900s. to early 1900s. Early 1900s. Yeah. Uh, he okay. died. What was it 1928? 40 something? No, dude. It was 30 was, something. Yeah, I, I I thought it was like 28 or so. Hold on. We'll, we'll oh, okay. get we'll get that in just a second. Hold um. On. Um. Thank you. The guy oh, died yeah. super young. Like he was like late. He Maybe. died of cancer. Uh, yeah, stomach, oh. stomach cancer because he had the <laughs> fucking worst diet. Though. Oh, I'm sure sorry. I'm sorry. Time, he died March 15th, 1937. Okay, yeah. He was oh, born wow. in 1890. Again, uh, born in Providence, Rhode, Ooh, Rhode Island and draft. died in Providence, Rhode Island as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the guy had the worst possible, like the worst diet ever. Uh, sure. He died. He died of stomach cancer. He would eat fucking cans of beans and biscuits. pickled herrings. Yep. And yeah, <laughs> like he had an absolute <laughs> shit diet. Uh, and, uh, well, the, that that is because he was like yeah, a, lantern. He was too. very poor. He was he very poor, but poor almost by choice because he didn't want to almost get, uh, like, he didn't want to get a regular job because he was like an uh, artist. Well, right. He was no, not. Yeah. Yeah. He was not recognized at the time. His no. his, his writings were not. No, yeah, popular. it was a no, joke. no, they weren't. Like yeah. they were just like oh, this popular fiction or whatever. Like, exactly oh, cool. because you he, write little like like penny stories or yeah. whatever. He wanted to make penny money. Rifles, he wanted almost. to make money with his writings, but he didn't even like his own writings. Most no, of the yeah, time. he was super self critical. Like he hated most of the shit that he does. In fact, yeah. with this story. He didn't like it at all because again he was paid five dollars for each uh, portion of it that came out, and it wasn't in the style that he was used to or that he preferred to write because he had to write cliffhangers. Yeah, the guy was very much yeah, a fucking he, artist. He wanted to he his all of his stories are short stories. Mm. Yes, and all of them were pretty complete within a few a few pages, and with this one he had to like leave a cliffhanger. Then, when the the next issue came out of the magazine that he was writing for, had to reiterate whatever he talked about in the past, or or in the previous. um, And that was another thing. Magazine. He he did not like. So he he didn't like fucking making like a like an overarching narrative. He was very much like, all right, I I just like here's a little story, you know, kind of thing. And people were always like, well, what does that mean, like for all of the other things that you were talking about, or uh, how like they they wanted more from him. And uh, Lovecraft's writing style was 
uh, in a way that like he explicitly left out details. Like he was very vague on everything because uh, that was just, that was the whole purpose of things. Like what you don't know is what, uh, the horror, horror, exactly the, yeah, the aspect that's, that's, of horrors. Yeah, yeah. The fear, of the, you, the fear you, of the unknown. If you describe it, like it pretty much kills. Yeah, it the, loses its appeal. It loses its uh, its 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 aspect of. Yeah, horror. you leave it up to the audience to uh, make the right their imagination. Yeah, exactly the imagination of the yeah. audience to create whatever he's talking about, right. and that would whatever and it, you could fit whatever fear they have and put that right. into the yeah. So pretty much he wrote about. he wrote in Whoa. very. Very like uh, minor tropes to everything. Like, okay, here's Whoa. a here's an evil. Here's some like mysterious unknown uh, like culture, and let's yeah, go. Yeah, and you know, yeah, like, exactly. Because and of course now they're saying that the whole his whole vagueness of writing. They're saying like the fear of unknown, all that. Of course, so now there are a lot of people saying that he, he was real racist. Yeah. Okay. Or is it just that he's part of a time? Yes. But there's that now everyone's yes trying to say, now no. everyone's trying to say that his 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 un, his quote unquote unknown is so that, that that what I understand about like oh, his Jesus they're extrapolating. Uh, you haven't heard no, about they, that? They are. They are. That's, so no, yeah, I'm because not. like Jesus, look, that's disgusting. Here's the thing. Like from what I understand about Lovecraft, and Ray might be able to back me up or maybe expand on this somewhat. Yes, like his style at first, like he wasn't explicitly racist, but he did go with like the fucking stereotypes of the time you know he was like oh these people like they had like uh, a more ape <laughs> no fuck off uh, no like i'm gonna, I'm gonna get in that I hate the it's, most. it's not necessarily like an like i'm not making apologies for the guy at all like like his no i'm not this either. is how, no this one, is how no he was said. raised and like this is what he understood he didn't necessarily question it because again like if if i was going to describe lovecraft now like he would be very conservative He's not well, a he's not a liberal. He's that? not. Like, I know you've seen it, Ray, because you turned me on to it. But that one documentary about like Lovecraft. Oh life yeah, yeah, on, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. So, so like, like I've seen that. Also <clears throat> thought that he lived like 150 years in the past, as far as like yeah, how he, he was, right. was like one of his big things was like you know one of his one of his big things was that he was born in the wrong time period. He was like I should have been born 100 years. He's he considered he considered himself a New England gentleman. Yeah, and like a lot of the times that he. He was, uh, and again, even in Herbert West Reanimator, so, there's a bit of like, you could say racism in the, well, I would say you can tell, but like it's, there's a portion of it that is kind of racist in the way he describes uh, the black person in the story. But yeah. uh, he, hmm. I, again, uh, a lot of Lovecraft writings, uh, people limit to his short stories and stuff. But of a lot of he, a lot of his writings also continued in the letters that he wrote to people in correspondence. Right, yeah, that is what he's and, most known for as and, far as his yeah, body of of info, like yeah. his writing. And and he did have letters. like he did some like hateful uh types or what would be considered racist or his bigoted. His cat was named Nigger Cat. Nigger Man. Nigger Man. Thank you. And oh, the thing shit. is, like, his yeah. a lot yeah, of a black cat. cat. You can't he he had well. a lot of like uh, racist, yeah. uh, bigoted th things about Jews and stuff. Right. But the thing is, like, when he was writing letters, like, he became really good friends with Jewish people. Right. And all that kind of stuff. But the when thing is, like, he was married. When he became married for, I think it was like a year or two. He yeah. actually moves to New York. And like yep, he, and he, he becomes, he it. becomes no, no, absolutely not. He he became, uh, uh, he was exposed to other other cultures, other people, but, and he became friends. Because it, hold on, because he, he, like in his whole mythos thing, he has like the uh, okay. Now I don't know. I, I'm gonna say this. You might have to edit out Ray. I don't know whatever. But uh, so he has in the mythos. There's like some kind of deity or whatever you want to call it. It's called Shub Nigaroth or whatever. And everyone's yeah. like saying, oh, uh, it has that word in there. Yeah. I don't know if that's what he was no. literally putting in that but I, I, I think, think so people it wasn't, too much like, it wasn't like he made up just fucking like uh he just made up fucking words for, to, for like did, all of the things it like, was oh hmm. to your point earlier bryce about um sorry i've been like holding this in for a little bit about lovecraft's work being like subjected to like like his racist views so if his like even though like he did write some like racist shit but it being written or being already like his overall well, it's, like it's corpus being subjected of work is to racist, modern viewpoints. I think it's bullshit so, because mostly Lovecraft was about like these gods 
don't give a shit about humanity. Well, they don't. So I mean, it's, it's more all, of like a nihilist right, yeah, I, in like, certain we're, ways. We're at, I'm uh, just we're, telling you, uh, I'm not saying oh, no, that no, I no, hold no. the same I'm viewpoint. Just, I'm just saying, I'm saying like, that's, like, that is the his, modern his, uh, uh, interpretation of his work. So right, right, no, no, like, no, like, I'm just saying like, and I'm just saying, not, saying that's bullshit. Not that like that's your argument, but just that's what like people are starting to It isn't the complete story. And I think that's nonsense. Like it's just one facet of his fucking life. He changed after he went to New York. Like from what I understand, like I mean, and if I'm wrong, fuck off whatever but like when he went to new york and he was married for a time like he was actually exposed to uh you know to society at the time well, the guy was people, born in a bubble dude so like yeah. he didn't really question or go out of his way uh 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 in his understanding of of the world at large yes uh, and later uh, at the time I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that because he preferred to be like a recluse like he didn't right. like no, he, he, was, he was he, he I, didn't he didn't like being out I, and amongst all the other cultures and i stuff made like this that. joke to you like a long ass time ago like i i fucking took when i took that fucking class on lovecraft and like uh freudian fucking psychology or whatever um he uh he he uh didn't like he he again like he fucking changed or whatever like it was it was it was just in that like he was he was he was the original emo that's what i fucking mm -hmm. called him when i told you like this guy is just like i live alone and i must suffer alone and i'm an artist for my work and nobody understands me and then like he fucking came out of his shell after like after he met this woman and fell in love and fucking like for a time was you know he 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 left fucking rhode island and was 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 happy uh for a time like he changed after that. Like as as they would describe, and, he became uh, more liberal uh, what, what, in, his, uh, in his views. What I would say too, uh, it what a lot of I mean, a lot of people, um, I guess, who read him probably don't know, unless I guess you really study like the literature and all that or where it came from. He wasn't the first person to really start the whole because uh, like, there, there was or a, fiction. Yeah, well, the author who wrote the Yellow King well, was actually before him. Yes. And that's like got oh, like word. Hastor so and all that. He, all these like what we would consider Cthulhu myth mythos type characters. He didn't he didn't I wouldn't say he started that 100%. No, no, absolutely not. He made, absolutely it, he made not. it popular. Absolutely but Abercrombie, not. there's a bunch of people that he actually took a lot of yes. uh, hmm. uh but what he did start was from. American horror. Yeah. Like what he took inspiration was from like people in Europe. Kind yeah. Of right. Those they're the ones that that started oh, uh, the, the cosmic horror before him. I've, uh, it was in, uh, one of the ones that they quote uh, most whenever regarding uh, Lovecraft's references was Lord Dunsany. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yes. the, the thing is like just going back to the whole racist thing is that Roland. I would say he did change, and I feel like he would have changed even more right. if, if, if he didn't live, die. He'd live longer. Yeah. What happened? He. he Again, he it, he he had like a lot of like bigoted views towards Jews. He befriended a lot of Jewish. But people. But he wasn't a hateful guy. No, no, no. The thing is, like he was scared. He was like, it seems like he was afraid. Right. And the more he got to know yeah. certain types of cultures, yeah, like, more personally, he was like personally, he's like, oh, okay, cool. Like, you know? so I think in, individually, he didn't really necessarily being, hate no, people ignorance. because it was through ignorance. He yeah. didn't know. Yeah, exactly. Wow. I would love for somebody to do, and I'm sure there's somebody who's done this, but I would love um, for somebody to do a like a, a like a sort of. The pseudo psychological evaluation the, on him in some way because I that do wonder if maybe guy. he was it, slightly it, autistic or there's, something there's like that. He probably could have done that. There, maybe, yeah. You know what? That's that's very well. Because like you said, he's very the, he's very reclusive. The authority on Lovecraft is a guy named S. T. Joshi. Yeah, and, and as far as I know, the like there isn't anyone through. else. No, yeah, like, who has more of a are, authority on him? No, like there's a huge. The guy has done like he's done a lifetime's worth of fucking work on uh, analyzing Lovecraft and his writing and his life. Uh, um, if, I, if I may say, like, if you want to read like a more compact version, there is a um, uh, Lovecraft: The Life, and then there is a two-volume set called I Am Providence. Yes, which kind of uh, breaks up Lovecraft's life between like when he's younger and right. when he's and older, when and he's it's older. more detailed. Right. Or you can get the more concise version, which what, is uh, uh, a life. What, what, what which is also if, very good. What we ended up, what would have ended up happening because uh, we'll, one of the big life changers in in Lovecraft's life that that sort of like kept him from expanding further on just his viewpoint and like his uh, integration into society was that I believe his mother became sickly at some point, and so he came back home, and uh, his well, wife I'm, was like, you know what, like I like. I'm not going to come with you. She didn't want to come back. No, yeah. she didn't. She was like, she's going to stay over there. <laughs> and he was like, okay, that's fine. Like, I guess we're going to get a divorce or whatever. Like, we're going to split up. 
Well, you say his, his mother was sickly. Like both his uh, his father and his mother were committed well, to like an, uh, insane, insane asylum. Yes, and uh, they both died in that yes asylum. As yes, well. so I mean, uh, so, so that's he, what I would say, man. I, I would instead of that, it's the fear of the unknown with like with the whole his. I would say he writes a lot of himself into these like oh absolutely these, these absolutely yeah. that he yeah, writes man. because he has no con- he has no, no yeah. consideration for humanity. He doesn't care. Oh, he doesn't want to be a part of humanity. Exactly. No, yeah. he absolutely oh, does not. Absolutely. He's um, like, I, this is how I would see humanity I, if I was this. I can't remember God, like, dude, character, like, like which characters yeah. he's written himself. Matters, like, I can't remember. I wish I could remember like off the top of my head, but I can't. Like, I really need to. Think and we, about and we have he to. He has uh, written himself. And say say this also is like he has written yes, he you may see me characters. say he was be a conservative in like modern times at first, but he again at first, but he was also an atheist. Yes, he did not believe in any gods it's or anything not conservative like that. at all. Yeah, so I mean that's. That takes a lot of the characteristics yeah, out of a conservative. A, it's a bit of a contrast. Of so he's libertarian. Yeah. <laughs> libertarian. Yeah. Um, he's libertarian. And, uh, so or maybe he would have like been a Satanist, uh, right? Maybe. maybe yeah, I don't know. Do what thou wilt. Uh, so would be the whole of the law. The church. This <laughs> episode <laughs> of uh, he's listening. Not Mo exactly Quest, the Book devil. Quest Lovecraft Edition is sponsored by the yeah. Ranmere episode yeah. of Sin Quest. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> and MoQuest Law. Be sure to visit your local library <laughs> and to get Mo some Law indeed. Okay, 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 okay. Enough of all that bullshit. How the fuck will we handle that pickle of a case? And that, that, though, ends, that ends our dissertation yeah, on, on yeah, fucking Lovecraft. Uh, Howard Phillips Lovecraft. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Let's, and, and, and again, we our live review. Love, Lovecraft... <laughs> There's a lot of like different facets to Lovecraft He's an because I mean, fucking guy. If, just not even not just reading. First of all, reading his letters, reading his stories, and just reading about his life, you'll realize that his life was fucked up. Yes, in more Whoa. ways than one. And he kind of like also at some point chose to kind of like settle down in mm. that life because again, being a recluse, being uh, a kid who was uh, put in dresses because from his mother. That's right. And like he was they, dressed they as a little girl. They tried to raise him as a, as a, yeah, as as a, a girl. little girl, you know, oh, like yeah. all that kind oh, of shit. I didn't know that. Yeah. There are pictures. Look it up. Like yeah. shit too. So. Oh shit! So it's some, some sleepaway camp type stuff. Oh, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. His family yeah. was his, was pretty yeah, messed up. Yeah. Oh damn! Right. We should do some Photoshop editing of fucking uh, HP Lovecraft with the. <laughs> Dude, that was sleepaway be- camp. Yeah, yeah sure. oh, that'd be great, man. Wow. <laughs> Get the face, just put the fucking mouth in there. <laughs> He's got the jaw, right? But you know it's him because it's the lantern jaw. Yeah. Anyways, man. What are, uh, okay. So hold yeah, on, hold on. Like, back to uh, back to Rihanna. Let me. Uh, I think I got a synopsis here that I can go ahead and yeah. go through. <laughs> um, we're and, and again, uh, uh, we're talking about the movie, uh, but we want to just give everyone um, a quick. A synopsis because I mean if you haven't seen this fucking movie uh, you should. If you but have not the, heard of the H.P. Lovecraft, the movie, we do not live in a cave. The movie is mm-hmm. pretty straightforward. Especially nowadays, man. So uh, yeah, Roland, uh, absolutely, uh, like he is super into pop, yes. like pop culture. Roland, fucking... go ahead, please. So Reanimator, uh, also known as H.P. Lovecraft's Reanimator, is a 1985 American horror comedy film, loosely based on the 1922 Lovecraft serial novelette. Uh, Herbert West Reanimator, directed by Stuart Gordon and produced by Brian Usna. Film stars Jeffrey Combs as Herbert West, a medical student who has invented a reagent which can reanimate deceased bodies. His, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, he and his classmate, Dan Kane, uh, played by Bruce Abbott, uh, begin to test the serum on dead human bodies and conflict with Dr. Carl Hill, uh, played by David Gale, who is infatuated with <laughs> Kane's fiance. The guy's mm-hmm. a fucking creep. Uh, played by Barbara <laughs> Crampton, who we were speaking about before, and wants to claim the invention as his own. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, that about wraps it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah all right. Peace. Good That's, episode. Uh, that concludes See our episode of Sam's Yeah. <laughs> um, Appreciate so, y'all. <laughs> okay, so uh, regarding the movie Patreon itself, shit, guys. Uh, we'll do, uh, <laughs> I guess we can do a more deep dive into Lovecraft as an author that, at be, some point. Yeah. And even even if his life, because his life is very there's interesting as well. There's a lot of shit. Like the guy again died young, but like I mean, there's yeah, still he, so much to fucking. Looking back, unpack. he did accomplish a lot, and I mean, by our standards, by our standards, by yeah. the standards of his time, he was a bum. Well, Nobody gave a, a fuck of, about him. I would like, say a lot of parallels between him and uh, Poe because Poe yeah, exactly. exactly died, yeah. well, that was the thing. Yeah. Like and all that shit. That was, yeah, because uh, he almost considered like carrying on the he, torch of. He uh, took influences. Yeah. yeah. 
Okay. And, and, it and, wasn't until the cure came out that like people started caring about all this. <laughs> <laughs> and and if anyone who's listening, if you're not familiar with Lovecraft, you can go to any horror person, mm-hmm. Stephen King. Mm-hmm. Just uh, get on the fucking internet. Yeah, just get on the That's internet and find out. Much, yeah. But I mean, uh, he's, he's so Lovecraft. ubiquitous now. He's so what? ubiquitous yeah. now, man. Any, um, anything with- authors. Uh, Side Lovecraft, even filmmakers. So uh, many uh, people influenced what, by him. That? Guillermo del the, the Toro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stephen King, uh, Ray Bradbury, uh, who did uh, Fahrenheit 451, uh, something uh, Wicked This Way Comes, and Martian Chronicles. Clive they are Clive Barker. Clive Barker yeah. um, I mean, the list goes on and on about authors and filmmakers who cite Lovecraft as an influence. So just go out and check that out. But back to yeah. the animator. Yeah, he's again. He's he's known as the father of modern American horror. Right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, again, we've been talking about um, uh, reanimator. Uh, very loosely. Very very loosely in this situation. <laughs> and so I mean, so at uh, this point, let's let's actually get into the so um, movie. I think again, last we left off was when they were having the little debate about the. Uh, I guess about who. Uh, okay, Roland says not plagiarism, but. Uh, about how he was taking when, uh, when he his first work. formally uh, or sorry um, directly meets oh, his there, his huh? professor in class. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, so um, he actually um, goes to at some point or another. We see that we see that Megan Halsley, which is the daughter of Dean Halsley of the right. university, oh, is the, is right. is, uh, is involved one, with Dan. One of the main Dan characters. Kane. Yeah, he's involved with Dan Kane. She's involved with Dan Kane. Sorry. Is, is this the fucking scene? That was a fucking scene, yeah. Uh, I, oh, yeah. I, I'm literally, I want to say Barbara Crampton, like, just, mm. so, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, and to this day, so. Okay, look. Yes. She's great, but her character is dog shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Her, her character's not that great. I feel like her, that scene was like the, the director, so uh, director was like, uh, I'm sorry, Gordon, right? He's like, the director, he's like, uh. I want you to channel every porn you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and by, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> you, I, I, at that point, everyone's gonna assume that Dan Kane has like a fucking like monster cock. I'm, it? I'm assuming, man. We left off. Okay, one. excuse me. We're yes. talking about the fucking scene, right? And, no, no, no. Uh, I, and, uh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Well, hold on, uh, and. Uh, so Ray was saying, or he was positing that uh, what's the what's the guy's name? Uh, Dan Dan King. Dan King's yes, dick Dan, was Dan gigantic. King. Yeah, uh, and uh, and my <laughs> and, and and I had a thought suddenly about that. Uh, what about reanimating a reanimating agent as a f- source of Viagra? The a new source of Viagra, man. Imagine that. Right. That's a commercial we should make, man. I'm limp. Well, yeah. you if your dick dies, around, your dick like, dies, ah, your dick is dead ah, afterwards. Pump, right. it, pump a little bit of that green as stuff, As long as man. you catch it between the six to twelve minute. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> window. So yeah, yeah, like, right. I was, I was like leaving the reagents, off. Like, does it make you hard? It just makes you a little like floppy <laughs> dick, just like jump around. <laughs> hey, but that doesn't matter. Right. You put that in there, and that's that's doing that whole we've, rabbit thing where it's like, you know, we've fucking received, circulating. We've well, received communication from the penis in 15 seconds. Hot dog down, man. I'm not saying, <laughs> God damn, man, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, so, you ever well, seen a fucking dildo that, like, fucking, whatever, man. Jumps Anyways. around and shit. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, right. they, they got some shit nowadays, man, right? Let me tell you. So, fuck off, Bryce. <laughs> Uh, my, my last bit was about uh, uh, Barbara Crampton's character, Megan Halsley. Uh, she's pretty much just the uh, like the the shock factor the streak or whatever. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. She, a good piece. Um, I, I did have but throughout the whole movie, like she has no real purpose. Tail. She's always yeah. just like she always the they always just the bring her in. They always just bring her into the scene after the fact where she just sort of just walks in there and like, what the fuck is going What's on? Happening? Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you much. killed my cat. You know, yep. I know mm-hmm. you killed him. And he, like, uh, you know, that wasn't. Well, it wasn't her cat. No, it wasn't. It wasn't even her fucking cat. Okay, like, hold on, hold on. Dan and her are trying to get their shit on. She's like, and "What's something's wrong? Where's the cat?" Like, yeah, yes. Well, well, hold on. Cat. Oh, what the fuck is up with the this? bitch? Why is yeah. she crazy about that cat? Okay, I, I had something to say about she that. She's just looking like, for an excuse. No, which, it's which, like, which was it's a like a woman. But it's like I'm sorry. Hold up. Well, you know, hold on. All right, all right. It's like it's. Okay, hold on, Ray. You sent me this video of what's a comedian? What's that? What's that comedian you sent me a video where he's talking about how like women are uh, Richard Pryor? (laughs) No, not Richard Pryor. (laughs) 
he's kind of a heavy set guy. Was it the same? Is it, oh, 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 is it uh, um, oh. Patrice O'Neill? Yeah, Patrice O'Neill. <laughs> <laughs> oh. it, it's, it reminds Man, me, it actually. That guy. Well, hold on. It reminds me a little bit of what's going on in there. We was talking about how, like, the woman's telling her, like, you need to get your money. You, you need to get that refund. You can't let them tell you you can't get a refund. It's like that. He's like, what happened to your cat? You need to tell it. You need to ask this guy what happened to your cat. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even you, her go, cat. you don't live here. Yeah, right. that's exactly. Yeah. It's like, you don't even fucking live here. Why do you care Why what happened to my cat? Shit? No. Like, and, and again, and, I, and so that was a pretense to fucking complain about the fact that she didn't like Herbert West. Oh, the second yes, she yes, met yes, him. Exactly. I, I was going like, to say, exactly. I was going to say that. He comes in and he's like, oh, shit. Uh, mm-hmm. Hey, hi. Hi. Hi, Miss Housley. Uh, Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, I, I was just going to say that because she fucking uh, like Herbert, Herbert West comes in and he says he knocks on the door yeah. and she's about to leave. And that's because they just he, fucked. Yeah. He shows he shows like, the he shows the little he shows the little ad Penis. saying that um, uh, he's responding to the mm-hmm. ad and he wants yeah. to move in. Yeah. And, and, then she and Dan Kane's like, just kind of like, well, I mean, financially speaking, he would just be like, yeah, that's a good yeah, idea. But she was but like, she didn't want that. She mm-hmm. was like, oh, well, we need to talk about this. And I was like, bitch, you don't live here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What the fuck she is your problem? Hose, you know? man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, nothing, for lack of a better word. It's got nothing to do with you. She like, got, she, she's bringing up the cat. That's why, not her cat. Why what are you getting, the fuck with, what do you care what happened to my cat? Why, and, she's and, so territorial. And at some point or another, yeah. um, uh, they're looking for the cat when they bring that up. She What's goes into Herbert name? West's room. Yeah, she, does. she walks she into his room. Right in yeah. She breaks into his room. Even though he, he fucking and he tells, straight her. Up tells her, he's like, what happened, Dan? I thought it was renting a private room. I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, because like, yeah. He, he told you tell her, her. You tell her, fucking he, Herbert West. You tell that fucking bitch. She, bitch, she, she, she bitches about that. She's like, he never How comes out of his room. on my rights. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's we always see. in his room, yeah. always locked up. And I was like, uh, perfect roommate. What? What the fuck is yeah. the problem? Like, uh, he said he was never going to, like, you were never going to see him. Like, why do you give a yeah. shit? Yeah. It was, he said exactly what he was going to do. Yeah. Uh, not, and not, he's going to be invisible. Don't even yeah. bother. No, don't worry Realize that it. he's even there. Don't I've even worry been, about him. Gosh. Yeah. 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 He fucking, I mean, money fucking talks, bro. Yeah. The whatever, money, he know, gave him like, the money. And he got fucking it's nothing over with. to do and, with And them. she said, she, her, her words. She's fucking. She's like, we need to talk about this. Uh, no, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> like, this you is my house. Bitch. This is my house. What like, the fuck is <laughs> your problem? Why do you need to know everything about this? I'm just like, you know, it's it's fucking coming to America, man. Yeah. But man, I, he's and got his own money. And, the, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 here, and here's the thing. Like, she's fucking trying to fucking like horn in on this shit. <laughs> Uh, like, in, in addition to saying that, like, okay, like, I can't stay here the night because my dad is in charge of me and, like, I Whatever. need to go back home. And, and mm, you know, like, because they don't want to find out that they're fucking. We're not they're really, really a dead. thing, but we are. And, like, I'll marry you when you, like, graduate. And so, like, she's trying to be controlling, but at the same time, like, she's not accepting of, 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 of fucking, like, she she won't stand up to her father or whatever mm. about right, like right. her and Dan's relationship. They're she's hiding. They're fucking like Roland. Right. Yeah. Quit projecting. <laughs> what the fuck, bitch? I just that's hateful. If, right? you, do, if like, you ask me, <laughs> man. If you ask me, I think what West, that has- West did uh, fucking Dan a favor. No, that's just a stupid joke. Because <laughs> like, you're Save not them, a blonde hottie them, like, that's dating a, a third year medical uh, student. Exactly. So. But here, here's the thing, West. Saved, you know that would West be cool. saved Dan because. Right. God forbid, once he <laughs> once he graduated, once he graduated, he got that doctorate, like that the fucking job, man. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean. It, and, and, and she, imagine the alimony you would have to pay. You know, the here's degree, the thing: is that I, like, we're not going to talk about part two and just and right now, but I'll just a brief uh, thing about that is that in part two, uh, Herbert West kind of it seems like he values Dan as an assistant because he's kind of like going along what he says and kind of almost um, in the wants second, to further, the, yeah, and the further further the science. Said so that he wants to give Dan the girl that he wants. Yeah, because in, in second in the second one, West he suffers no hoes, man. <laughs> he suffers no hoes in the second one. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> okay, so um, th- okay, there's a there's, sorry, we, there's a to, scene. Hold on. I must interject before this scene. Um, Roland, what you got there, bud? Don't worry about it. He's drawing tits, like Dennis. Mm. <laughs> Okay, oh, so guess you made with a big dick in my mouth or something. Eat um, a dick, you bitch. <laughs> That's uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, what you're well, uh, uh, the scene where uh, Herbert, 
<laughs> the scene where Herbert and Dan are trying to bring the cat back to life after the cat like attacks him and he had inserted the oh, serum well, in him. We already talked about the, how he, we think. No, no, no. But I'm just referring back to oh, Barbara okay. Crampton's character is that she comes in after the fact and freaks out. Yeah. 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 Good job, Roman. He probably saw that backwards, you idiot. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> he can read. He didn't actually. He can, oh, he didn't. Um, okay, good. You can read. And uh, love you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, moving on. Okay, so um, Herbert West uh, reanimates the cat twice. I thought it was some pet cemetery shit. Or we're gonna yeah, it basically it. I was like, yes. He reanimates the cat, and uh, he brings Dan in, and Dan sees what happens because the cat attacked Herbert West. And <laughs> the yeah, shit, dude. yeah, that's yeah. one of the funniest. Get it scenes. Off me. Yeah, it's on, yeah. His, it's on his back. And uh, I was, I was trying to. Remember. What, what kind of com- comedic style is that? Because that's classic so shit. Like, slapstick. In the, slapstick. The yeah. synopsis fucking so, like bills it as a comedy horror, and like right. every time they play that like fucking music, I wanted to laugh. Yeah. Every time I was as, like, as you should. This yeah. is some Scooby Doo shit. Oh, like, this you is, mean the beginning intro? Yes. And is, is it just me, movie, or do, do I feel like Nightmare for Christmas ripped this? Movie off with the soundtrack. <laughs> now, <laughs> it, it, if you're gonna say that, we'll, we'll talk about the soundtrack in just a minute. But because it reminds me of the. Oh, okay. Well, anyways. Oh, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll about, talk about we'll soundtrack talk about later. But uh, so that scene where he's the cat, the, the pussy's on his back, and, <laughs> <laughs> and so he throws it off, and then fucking uh, Herbert West got a croquet mallet, and yeah, and fucking Dan's got a baseball it. bat, and then they just end up picking the cat, they, like slamming, and, it and you knew, the wall. you know, they were. Using whatever they had at that time because oh, you don't yeah. see the cat at all, and the light, no. the light always like as soon as they're trying to hit the cat, the light like goes away from like where they're yeah. at. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. He's right there, Dan. He's right there. Like, oh shit! Dude, he's, he's oh god, he's over there in the, the corner. Place. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. silly. Yeah, <laughs> he was, throws the cat funny. on the fucking wall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Um, you know, I, I I like when he tells him when he brings the cat back to life. Don't expect a tap dance. He's got a broken back. Yeah, he's got a broken back. Yeah, and you see the cat. It's <laughs> 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 like fucking puppet is looking yeah, motherfucker. Kill it, time. kill it again. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when uh, Megan oh, walks in as well. Yeah, but <laughs> but it's it's your cat. My favorite, one of my favorite scenes in the movie too. I love it because to him. me it speaks to oh fuck, like the morbidity of Uh-oh. motherfucking uh, of uh, Herbert West because he's like, look out. Yeah, he's like, laughing. He's so like, he asking, loves right, it. He's getting a kick out of all this shit. I love in this movie. Scene, man. There are two instances in this movie where he laughs, and that was one of them. I was yeah. trying to remember the other, but like, I fucking love that because but like, it's yeah, just how, like, how little he regards life yeah. and death. And it's funny because like, it's so fucking that per- scene's so perfect because like, when the light, like, it's like you just see the glint on his glasses, and he's like laughing, and it's like, oh, it's so fucking. The, that's such a <laughs> great. Those are the scene, only man. two. I love that fucking scene. Only two moments in this movie where you see some character from Herbert yeah. West, and you see him kind of sinister, but like it's, it's mischievous, <laughs> and it's like, ha ha ha. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Like, yeah, it's fucking. Awesome. Look out! Yeah, he's like. And he starts laughing maniacally like a mother sucker. Yeah, <laughs> like, it was fucking great. Like I was trying to remember. He he has one other moment in this fucking movie where he does that, and I I wish I could remember what the fuck it was. Like I was trying to ask you guys. It wasn't when uh, the father dies, was it? Like no, no, I don't it think so. Was um, like there's a point when somebody asks him something. And he's like, oh, that bitch. <laughs> you know, like he does his thing. Like, Well, fuck, that's like, uh, real quick. Who does he reanimate? He reanimates the cat. The cat. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, no. Hans and, Gruber first. There you go. The cat. Mm-hmm. And then um, and the, 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 main, the, the main corpse in the, the very beginning. The one with the heart. The guy. The heart. Yeah. Uh, the guy that died. Yeah, the whatever. rage attack. Yeah. yeah. Right. And that guy kills... Um, Dean Halsley. Dean Halsley. Dean Halsley. Yeah. Uh, and then they bring up, father. they bring back Dean Halsley. And they from bring that. him back. You know, and he's like fucking crazy. He's and crazy. Shit. Which I, yeah. here's the thing. It's funny. They so they reanimate that guy. Maybe not the best idea to reanimate the bodybuilder no. type dude. No. <laughs> and it's like uh, okay. They, they's like, what did he die of? Heart failure uh, yeah. from roids, more than likely. Like, shit. Why yeah. would you reanimate that fucker? Come I on, mean, dude. like they were getting desperate. Like I guess like, so, at the yeah. point, like uh, Herbert West had been fucking. Um, expelled mm. uh dan had been like already fucking like verbally warned and told like look bitch if you keep doing your shit like you're gonna lose your loan uh <laughs> stay the fuck away from my daughter yeah. like I, yeah lose you your know. loan then i can't go to school here oh uh, no exactly shit, you fucking star fucking medical <laughs> oh student so genius dopey, guy you, know? wow, you fucking you're, idiot you're smart huh mind you they, they do um dean halsley prior to all this does release uh herbert west from uh 
re- released Herbert West as a student from mm-hmm. yeah. uh, Miskatonic University. Yeah, no, he flat out fires him. Yeah. And, uh, or, yeah, expels him. Fire, expels, yeah. And so, yeah. So, it's, it's, so he says, he he says he's, he's free to, like, he kills continue. He's free, con- free to continue his studies uh, independently. Because, <laughs> Which uh, means you'll get no credit. Exactly. <laughs> And and uh, I mean, he, you can come to class, sit in lectures, but you ain't gonna get he, uh, yeah. he, he, he threatens Dan with the fact that like um, yeah, you better not have taken, whatever. better not have taken like any sort of like right equipment from, from yeah, a right school or like, whatever. Yeah. yeah, fuck off, you know. Um, so uh, we're Dean Halsey's dead. Oh, uh, he reanimates and then him. The oh. doctor, what's his face? The teacher, Doctor Hill. Yeah, he. I one of so one of my favorite whoa, fucking whoa. scenes. Is then well, I think we should hold on because so he reanimates the guy, the, the fucking huge rip dude, or yes. whatever, and they, they're beating the shit out of him, or whatever. Yeah, and then he, at this he goes point, berserk. yeah, and uh, uh, Dean Halsley and the daughter, I don't know why, why is he pissed off? He's going there for some reason, he's going to the morning because, well, no, because 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 I mean, because he's following, he's, he's, he finds out they're he's, fucking no, 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 no dude. <laughs> so Dan <laughs> tells him, like, he tells him about Herbert West's theory and his research. He's like, Look, he fucking oh, yeah, then he like basically the bars them both, yeah, yeah, and. Oh. And the dean is like, because he was like, you can tell Mr. West like, he's not invited. Like, back. but how does why? he find out? How does he find out they're at the morgue? Why does he, why does he go to the? Why does he go over there? He like, it's almost like he's doing due diligence. He's like, look, I told this motherfucker. Oh no, no, that- no, 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 he's was, pissed. Uh, he's, he's, he was no, going no, to talk no, to the doctor. Was, uh, it he's, was due diligence, but no, it was because. Like they kicked oh, them out you're or right. whatever. Because he does go and there. He, there was he tells like a, them like, like a manhunt triggered for West and uh, right. Dan. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, or Dan. You're um, right because he he, he does he, he goes went there. there. So yes, due diligence rolling, but like it was because of some sort of like. Oh, are they here? You're oh, right because he goes. He goes and talks to that the, the speckled girl, the woman, yeah, the, the, the he, goddamn the, nurse. Yeah, the nurse, the head nurse. He asks her like, head "Oh, is, is Dan here or whatever?" And he's like, "Oh, yeah, he was at the morgue or whatever." And then that's when he's like, "Oh, right. I, was, I told you not to learn." Yeah, that's he right. He fucking runs out that. Yeah, and, you know, I, I kind of lost so the attention at the I, point. I thought he found out he was fucking his daughter. No, and that's why he was. No. <laughs> he was so I think he was basically going in there to talk to the head surgeon or whatever guy to like just sort of corroborate, like, "Look, this is what happened." Like. They're fucked, like get rid of Herbert West and like like keep an eye on Dan. And that's mm. when they tell them, like, look, the fucking the head doctor's like been in surgery and oh yeah, Dan's here in the morgue. And yeah. then there's he's like, he's like, Yeah, he's like, I told y'all to like ban him from that all. And that's when and then like why is the security guard like cool with that him? I guess they hadn't told him yet. No, no, the security guard just kinda like has he's like he's like he's a bit aloof to the whole thing. Yeah, okay. Hold on, hold on. That whole scene too, when he's there, it okay, that's like He's gonna straight up jack off, right? Because he's like looking at, he's like break time. He's like looking at the movie <laughs> magazine. He's gonna go jerk off, right? Yeah, he's yeah. gonna go jerk off. Yeah, uh, but anyway, so they go in there in the morgue, and so he's like, oh shit, he's in the morgue. I told you all to keep him out of here and all that. So they they reanimate the fucking dudes, all ripped and shit, and he's beating the crap out of uh, Herbert West and Dan. Dan's getting strangled, and so Herbert West is like, or uh, Her- Herbert West is like. Dan, like, get out of the way. He's at the bone saw and he goes in there and he fucking, oh no, because the Dean's in there. Right. And he's getting strangled. Right. He's going to beat the shit out of him. He bites his fingers off. Yeah. Everything gets strangled. Oh, he dude, hits that, him. Was, that was savage, dude. Yeah. He, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> fucking throws him up against the wall. And, and if that's not enough, he's like strangling him and bites his fingers off. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, Wes goes in there. Nuts. He gets, he, you know, again, like cleverness of him, like he's like, oh shit, well fuck it. Why am I trying to fight him with brute force? Let me get this fucking tool, and he like fucking puts it into his heart. Right? Yeah, he he's like, uh, Dan, move, yeah, yeah move. move. Like he fucking he puts yeah. it straight yeah. into his chest. the bone saw. And uh, so at that point, they decide to reanimate Dean Halsey because he right. needs somebody more fresh. Yeah, and and right. and and also to try to recoup the fact that it was a total fucking failure, or whatever. Yeah. Like, uh, this is the Dean. Like you're fucking his daughter. Like it's it's. Like his life is dependent on your goddamn, uh, or your life rather is dependent on him fucking like coming back from this. He's dead. Yeah. Let's bring him back. And Dan is just like beside himself, like, well, oh, uh, fuck. Like, and uh, I like how Dan is just relegated to taking notes on the fucking the yeah. part. He's like, oh, 10 30. Yeah. The supreme yeah. lackey or whatever. 15 yeah, seconds. He's a lackey. Fucking, he's a lackey yeah. And so that's when he goes along with it and like they inject him. And at the time, like, or in that particular scene, Dan like fucking like sits down on the floor and just like motherfucker, like yeah, goddamn, yeah, like, I can't believe like, this point, he's trying like, to come well, to grips with everything. Well, this Herbert West Dan like, never does doctor stuff like, except for trying to save people's life yeah. when they're already dead. 
So yeah. he's like, trying. Otherwise, he's just like a grunt. So like, move him here. Yeah. Like, flip like that he's, body over. He's almost. Uh, help me fight this horde of zombies. He's almost like a victim of sh- really shitty circumstance. Yeah. And then, <laughs> at, 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 I think at this point, that's when the security guard comes in. He's like, no. Well, Dean Halsey, he, he was going crazy. It was uh, the and daughter. He, the daughter comes in. Wait, was, oh. that, was, that, was that at the end? Was that at the, the point where the, like the. The security guard sees him and he like fucking runs off, or that's towards the end. No, not that's towards, towards the end. end. Yeah, he's he's towards like, the end. So the security guard has fucked <laughs> off. Uh, at this at this particular point, the security guard has fucked off to wherever the hell like never well, who fucks finds him. No, he finds him. Oh, oh, the did you guys like the daughter? He tells him, "I'm calling the police." That the guy made though. No, security guard finds him and no. and the daughter, and yeah. then the security guard's like, "I'm calling the police," and because he's like, I th- I he's like, "Dean oh, yeah, Halsey, you went crazy. Don't do that." He put a bone salt in this. I was like, "What the fuck." <laughs> so I I thought that was when he was talking to what's her name or whatever about all of that. Uh, oh my when god! She asked but, him, uh, like, Herbert, uh, the right. fucking West, Doctor West. Like he he tells that perfectly, like a fucking kid getting caught and like uh, some like when you do something bad. He's like, ooh, well, well this happened and ooh, like, I don't know, but he <laughs> it's funny, man. He, he did, hey he he came up with that lie real quick. Came with that story. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. It was he's a good liar. <laughs> it was n- n- no, <laughs> he's not a good liar. That was well, the whole he's, point. Well, he's like, not. He's but you know he's, what? What I mean? He, who's gonna? Okay, he comes so up, he comes up with something quick. <laughs> it's not believable. Uh-oh. Hey, he's like, uh, it's believable enough in the situation it's, because it's, what you know? Here's it, here's the prior here's the, to everything. The guy was still alive. Yes. And they don't know yeah. any different. That's, that's except for the fact that he's like missing fingers and he's like fucking pale as <laughs> shit. That, <laughs> he didn't look like that earlier. That is accurate. Fucking purple lips and but shit. Her, here's, he must be stressed out. Yeah. Here, here's here's what like hypertension will inject the comedy <laughs> that I understand about the whole scene is in that like when Jeffrey Combs is explaining what the fuck is going on, he uh, when Jeffrey Combs is explaining what the hell is going on. He's like, oh, the Dean went crazy. And then, like, he points to the fucking corpse of the first guy they reanimated. He pulled out the, 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 like, he points to the hole in the guy's fucking <laughs> heart. You know, like, he's like, this, well, you know what? You know? That's a good point. Because how's he going to explain, like, how's he gonna explain how the corpse came like, to life? He doesn't. That's a good he's point. He's just like, ooh. Oh, maybe you know, he was just like, doing a little midnight surgery or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Dean was right. crazy inside the midnight sur- corpse. A little, a little yeah. midnight open heart surgery. Yeah. Right. right? Like, kind of thing. <laughs> uh, like, so that was where the comedy was for me. Like he doesn't go into fucking like specifics. He's just like, uh? yeah. Well, what? Hey, you know what? Whatever, it, it works, man. It works. <laughs> no, they don't yeah. go to jail. Like, yeah, exactly. And, and the, they and put the dude what? in the same asylum. You know what? Like to 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 further like support that. Nobody hears anything about Herbert West when he fucking comes over from Switzerland. Nobody That's fucking true. says anything about him and his Hans Gruber experiment. Mm-hmm. Like he just fucking shows up and they're like, oh yeah, he's a new student. He's really smart and cool. Or whatever. Like, well, I'd, I'd love I, for them to cut to that scene and like, you just like kill everybody at that fucking. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, yes. no, I, want, I want them to cut to the Switzerland scene where they're like, uh, well, you're you're absolved of yeah. any crimes or whatever. Go uh, beyond your uh, way. No, man. I think he just killed everyone. He's like, I'm getting the fuck out. <laughs> no, well, I, I'm just thinking that like that that whole scenario has like a whole backstory. That which you created earlier and it's really good. No, no, well, I'm just saying that like like it's an it, origin it, story. If, he, for if he's Herbert moving West. on to the next um, the university. Is that maybe they just kept it silent because of what had happened? So I'll tell you, what, you know that, that that would be a reason to keep that shit silent because I mean if he's reanimating, um, Ed Phil makes a pretty good pills room. So. <laughs> yes. if, he, if he's reanimating uh, bodies, why would anyone want to say anything about it? You know, like that would cause a lot of controversy, so, bring too much attention to the university. Yes. So just release him, and hopefully and he let doesn't him do be it about and, his and, way, and he doesn't do it again. Nah, but maybe. it's but also it is Switzerland. Like, yeah, I was, I was gonna, gonna say that like, I'll, it's I'll, Switzerland. I'll, I'll, they probably give a slap on the wrist. And they're like, all fucking, right, we're good. fucking neutrals. Hey, the guy yeah. from Mayhem only got like nah, twenty five. He got a stern so, talking like, to. Like, him. You're talking about Varg Virkunas, the, yeah, the, the guy from well, the dude who started Burzum. Yeah, yeah, well, but he, uh, didn't okay. he just get like a slap oh, on the wrist and a nice like whole series? Okay, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Okay, I'll tell you one thing though, because in Norway they do have a fucking bullshit law where it's like they actually let people out for holiday from prison so, and that's what happened was he he went and they're like the whole the whole thing is like you you have to come back yeah well he, he never did he didn't he did it and when they arrested what? him again and when they arrested him again he was in a car he had all these like fucking assault rifles and shit in his car and all that but that's the whole thing is they let shame, you out yeah shame. well if i may hold on jeffrey epstein was allowed to go oh, on a work release from off. jail 
<laughs> and he was gone 12 hours a day. Hot takes. Fuck that motherfucker. Hot takes. Yeah. He's good and dead. Exactly. But I mean, like... The, the, Thanks, Clintons. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest with you right now, man. Um, he's not dead. Her yeah. West reanimated that motherfucker, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's, re- he's reanimated right now. <laughs> okay, so um, going back to the whole... Uh, they He reanimated... Uh, Dean Halsley. Dean Halsley. He's in the insane asylum. He's well, in the insane hold asylum. on though. He's not even in the insane asylum. This is what's really weird to me. No, he's is not. That motherfucker's it's a got a room. He, that dude's got a padded room in his yeah. office. Yeah, exactly. No one thinks that's a little bit Some weird. Weird shit. That's a little bit strange. So, like, I don't know if it's the actor or like the. We can't, fucking, we can't have like, we can't have too much rationale no, regarding but really, that. You know what? Like, yes, we can. Uh, can we? Actually, we need to we need to we need it, to yo. rewind it quite a bit because we uh, we didn't even talk about how. Uh, the doctor, whatever the what, Dr. Doctor Hill, Doctor Hill, he's a total creep. Oh, he's a creep, but like we, he's very we, good at it. We, we, we didn't even talk about how he's doing. <laughs> a good creep, yes. yeah. Skilled in the. Creep we didn't even talk about how he's got right. this laser drill to do lobotomies. Right, it's a new uh, procedure. Dude, that shit was fucking crazy. Yeah, and I don't even think that was on the right part of the skull for a lobotomy. No, <laughs> no, no. no. Well, like, not at all. That's too much. Like he's uh, like drawing through his forehead, this. like. Mm. Well, <laughs> Yeah, I was. Well, I mean, it's it's, the pre- it's, it's a, it, What they do is it's the prefrontal cortex, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like, but maybe a little bit too high. But they do use. <laughs> they, it's more of an art than a science. They do use the path of least resistance that well, I can understand. Knows, which is, but if you got the la- to, hey, but if you got a laser, fuck it, man, let's do it. Uh, <laughs> corner of the eye, corner of the eye. Well, they go up to the nose too. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, yeah, you're right. The corner of the eye. Does, does no, well. no, no. Yeah, like, uh, but straight through the middle, like side of your fucking for- skull or whatever kind of well, thing. Well, if you got a laser. I can do it, man. <laughs> no, do like, it. I just, I just, I fucking, fucking laser. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, future. Yeah. So he talks about one thing we didn't talk about is in his little lecture. He's talking about the will to live. Like, oh, it's like six to twelve minutes, and like that's life. And he's like, well, why do some people come back? Like, it's it's the will to live. Yeah. And so that's what later on we're gonna talk about. Like, anyways, I won't get into it right now. But later on in the plot, to me, I feel like that comes back into like play. Yeah. When we talking about the will, because I, I sure think he's in this like mysticism shit. Who, uh, Doctor Hill? I don't think it's just well, science. I think he's like uh, some no. weird mysticism. If I if I may, I absolutely think it is. Or, no, no, no. Well, uh, anyways, I don't want to talk about it right now because it's it. Anyways, it's it's a plot later on. I, I, you're saying that, but I I, f- I feel like I'm gonna forget this. But uh, you know when like uh, they're kind of killing Doctor Hill when he's been reanimated, he has the decapitated. Ray, it's mind. too far. It's too far. Away. No, I know it's too far ahead, but I I for- gonna forget. But okay, sorry. <sighs> I'll talk about it later. Go Ray, ahead. let's go. It's man. my favorite scene. Don't yeah. fuck this up. Uh, <laughs> we are we are we, at. They were we're in Doctor Hall's office. They got the Dean Halls in there. He's in a straight right, jacket. Right, banging his and, head and, up and, on the fucking wall. And, and uh, Doctor Doctor Kane Doctor Hill. Man, and like you, you, man. you get these fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you, Jesus Christ. So like you, you get these fucking like, you get these hints from fucking Doctor Hill or whatever that he's totally creeping on. Uh, oh, what's creeping her name? like a motherfucker? Like hard. I'm, I'm gonna say hints. It's it's pretty blunt. Yeah, he's like, hey baby, that he uh, wants. Let me that, uh, let me do some like, surgery. On in your case father. you're feeling lonely, yeah. you know, yeah. like while exact words. her zombie ass out father mm-hmm. is across yeah. from the fucking glass in his own like little private. Um, That's so weird, dude. Like, why would you a padded a secret your own private padded room in exactly That's so in his office? Weird. He's fucking got one set up or whatever to fucking keep this guy here oh, and like while well, she's say, talking to her dad she's talking to her dad she's, he can't see her she's trying to yeah I, I'm gonna say so like if, if you're him. if you're like if that's like your field Wait, of, are you field, defending him no field of kind of <laughs> if it's your field of expertise like and you want probably to have close observation while even while you're in your office like would it be like well I think it becomes just to have someone like a, a padded office to, in the other end where you could see someone kind of uh, uh, maybe, but so the whole thing, Ray, the, uh, the whole thing, about, the whole thing, Ray, about like with research That's a very and, and doing that stuff. It, there's there's certain ethics that come into play with somewhat it. Decent. Is it benefiting the person that it's you're doing the research on? Is it somehow oh, going to benefit? Wouldn't it, what did it benefit the it. science more than anything? Well, it, could you, you say just, could, you can't? It, it can't cause problems for the subject. Could you later say on. that you can't like you could can't you say do that, something that's going to be irreparably? Could like, you say that Doctor Hill is, is almost uh, almost like parallel to um, Herbert West in the sense, but like he's trying to like 
snatch his research and take it for you know himself. What? Like that's, that's but good, he, but it's all for but the benefit I don't of think science. You can have that's just like a good a fucking, explanation. I'm not. I'm not going to say that it's what? a good thing. I'm just saying no, no, that. No, no, like, no, 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 no. I, I, I mean in the like. Okay, he's uh, almost like the evil Hill, parallel. Hill, of Herbert West. So the way I'm like sort of fucking like uh, rationalizing uh, what what you're talking about there is that Hill. Uh, and and coming from Herbert West saying, look, your fucking research hasn't gone anywhere. Like, you're garbage. And Hill almost basically agrees with him. He's like, fuck, like, I've hit a fucking roadblock. Like, where do I go from this? Yeah, so he, his, his, his thought process is to, like, take his yeah. in, in any... In- that isn't to say that, that Hill isn't, like, fucking trying to fucking, like, find some new avenue of research in his fucking, like, uh, studies or whatever. Nah, like. he's an idiot. <laughs> I just... Oh. Um, or maybe he's just trying to, like, again, snatch the leaps that Herbert West has made. No, he literally does that. Yeah, like, yeah. so, like, again, like, he, he he's, he's unable to fucking find anything to fucking, like, further his study. And so he meets he meets West uh, and he's like, oh fuck you, you know. Like he finds his own he he finds out what like he's sort of working with and is like, Damn. I don't know, man. Like you, uh, you you did what I needed. Like I'm gonna take this well, because maybe. because this is an extenuating circumstance and it's a it is a uh, I think uh, it's two completely different realms of research because what he's talking about is uh, the will and like how can I manipulate people or how I can control because that this is what. I was talking about earlier, man. I feel like I, it comes into it comes to the realms of like mysticism because right. he's like straight up controlling these people with like telepathy. Again, that's another point. That's what I'm thinking. I, about. I'll bring that up at the I, end, but that's it's not even science at that no, point. No, no, no. Yeah. He's talking about yeah. he he he. Okay, well, anyway, that's later on in the story, like way later in the story. Uh, but he's got her. He's got her. He's got his. He's got Dr. Halsey in the fucking or Dean Halsey in the in the straight jacket in his padded room. He's got the daughter there, and he's telling her. He's so, trying to get his consent to do exploratory surgery, right, right. which means straight up, I just want to fucking put the laser drill in his head Carve so I can control him. So he's you know. using what like he understands or whatever currently, the peak of his fucking knowledge, uh, which is to say like no, fucking but, lobotomizing somebody and being able- He's not trying to, to help him. He's trying to fucking- no, no, no. He just wants to do like, so he can not, control him. Like, I'm talking about in the sense of furthering his own understanding of yeah. science. And, and like uh, he finds this, he finds what West is doing. No, but see- and uh, he already knows at that point because he, he well, right, he has I, he's suspicion. already looked at him. He's like, oh, he's not even alive anymore. Well, right. I think what, I think the real thing was he just wanted consent for exploratory surgery. On oh, the yeah, pussy, for man. sure. Yeah. Pussy, <laughs> 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 well, at some point he doesn't get it. He's just going to take just, it. Yeah. I, uh, through your father, <laughs> I will have you. But yeah. you know what? <laughs> <laughs> and you will... Though. Agreed. Love it. Yes, there we go. All for you. You, you will me. love me. Right. Wait, like, <laughs> I've always, yeah. like, yeah. always loved like, you. He licked her. He fucked her tits a little bit. <laughs> he, sucked yeah. he sucked them titties, yeah, dude. He, he sucked those he fucking titties. He gave him a titties, fucking man. tongue flick. Mm, yeah. like, <laughs> okay, so jumping, going to that. Uh, uh, let's, no. jump, let's jump to that real quick. Um, what? Before, are we jumping? Before that, before that actually happens, okay. So like, wait, what are we talking about again? Oh yes, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So Doctor Hill is a fucking like uh, a, alive and among everyone else. Where the fuck at this point <laughs> or that point in particular? <laughs> but that scene too, where he gets the people come to try to come in to like, uh, you know, like control like Doctor Dean Halsey, and he's like, <laughs> the oh, guy's like, the two fucking orderlies or whatever. <laughs> yeah, they're like, they just fucking like wrestle. Yeah, they're like, like wrestling a, the shit out of for them. like a minute or yeah. whatever, and then it just cuts <laughs> yeah, out to the fucking funny. next. Let's scene. talk about the yeah. the scene with uh, so Dean, uh, Doctor Hill and Herbert West in the basement. So yes, oh. um, Hill analyze like so. What what ends up happening is that Hill fucking does his like laser lobotomy yep. surgery, and he I assume takes a fucking like sample of uh, the Dean at this point and figures out like. Okay, this motherfucker's dead. Mm-hmm. And why the fuck is he running around? There's there's this thing. Like he he basically discovers that West has figured out a way to uh reanimate dead tissue. Yeah, because he, he goes down into West ba- uh, the basement. Right, yes. Mm-hmm. And so Dan's that was house. I love that scene because it's super funny. Like mm-hmm. they're in the basement of fucking Dan's like house apartment or whatever the fuck that shit is in 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 West's laboratory. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kane uh, Hill does not walk down the stairs. 
Uh, fucking it, the scene is that uh, West is just like looking at at his his microscope, and then mm. you just hear the guy like like come out of the shadows, mm-hmm. you know, right behind him. He doesn't walk down the stairs; he's just there, and he's like, "Hey, how, how's it going, bitch?" Yeah, and uh, <laughs> yeah. what and, you doing? And he just basically muscles his way into yes. being like, "Oh, I'm gonna and he's take like, for this shit." Look, motherfucker! Like, he's like I, like I be famous. Yes. He's like, oh, he, he's like, look. I, I looked at I looked at uh, the dean and I figured out there was yeah. some shit. He's like, like no pulse. That doesn't make any it's sense. Like no heart. Doesn't and I know it has to do with you. Yeah. Do you want to go to jail for murder or give do you want to like yeah. give and me your research? Do, give like me all your you shit. will yeah. obey me. Yeah, and so he's got the and, and, and it goes West. back to his it goes back to his studies on willpower, man. Yeah. Nah, but no, yeah, like it's almost like the guy is. Like I would say, his training is in psychology more than medical. But like we uh, all know, practitioner Herbert uh, West is not. He's too smart for that shit. So he's, he's like, oh, yeah, he's right, too right, right. stubborn. Well, yeah, yeah right. He's, like, he's too cool. like. There is he does not take well. Suge- he does not take well suggestion. No, just, uh, much less somebody trying to fucking take credit for his work. Yeah, like that's the whole so thing. Like he's too his, vain. Yeah, his he's whole. <laughs> yeah, he's too, <laughs> eh. Well, yes, like I'll I'll agree with that to like to an extent. Like the guy is. He wants to say no, that. Could you could you say that? No, absolutely not. Credit, he, he, credit, he, he wants to give credit where credit is no, due. That, that he doesn't trust anyone else with the work except for himself. No, absolutely mm-hmm. not. Exactly. exactly. But, so, in, I mean, in, but in the fact where uh, Hill is just like trying to say that, like you know what, like I'm, you have no choice. If you mm-hmm. do not listen to me, like you're gonna go to jail, or like I will take credit for your work, and. Um, yeah. Herbert West is just like fuck. Yeah, so he trips him out. He's like, "Oh, look at look what it does to this cat tissue." Right. And like, yeah. he goes like, like, "Let me put some uh, reagent on he's there." Like, he's like, like, the telescope, <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah." <laughs> and then that's where <laughs> like <laughs> my favorite scene in this whole movie starts. Yeah, and that Dunk. is where fucking Herbert West mm-hmm. busts out the shovel <laughs> yeah. and just like, "Oh yeah, that's really interesting." Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right, yeah, exactly. yeah. Boom. Knocks, knocks his ass out. Knocks his ass yeah. out, and then chops off his fucking head. Cuts off his fucking head with a shovel. With the Shovel. Uh, with the way. shovel, he's got a quote, got a quote there too, doesn't he? Think quote those I'm sure he does. I, I can't remember. Dude, I don't know. This is like when the best shit comes out. Like the best. It was he like takes the head, puts it in like this it little falls over. Container. Yeah, yeah. It, and he puts it on again, one of those like he, yeah. This is where it's like it's a fucking comedy. Yeah, it comes in. He has the a black scene where he in. fucking puts in, in the, like a petri dish type yeah. style, like metal, like stainless steel and tray. It keeps, it keeps falling. Like uh, he puts a uh, hill's head on there. It keeps falling over, and then he gets one of those like old fashioned like order up. Up, like like spike things. Yeah, that was this fucking. Uh, you um, like put the orders on like restaurant would, spikes. Yeah, right. and he's like, hey, let me just. He just rips the receipts off. Or whatever. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is it doing and there? Anyways, he plants <laughs> it and then fucking plants yeah, yeah. the decapitated head on there, and it finally stands up straight. And he's like, who? Huh, I've never tr- I've never tested my reagent on on uh, whole parts. Whole parts. Yeah. And he fucking injects the head, and yeah. then he injects it's his the body. body. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's the greatest shit. Yeah. It's like, oh, 15 seconds. Oh, I, the, the subject is alive. And he's like, oh, well, eyes come no, he's like waiting. It goes back. Oh, it cuts to someone. It cuts to another scene for a bit. And then it comes yeah. back to him. Yeah. And he's like tapping the head with a fucking pencil. Yeah. Waiting for him to come back to life. <laughs> and then he does. Yeah. And, and he's he like, does. Oh. He looks at him. He's like, what? Dr. Hill. He's like, no, he's like, Dr. Hill. He's like, what does he say? How do you feel? How do right. you feel? And he's you like, bastard. you. And he's like, oh, well, no, he's like, you. He's like, you is like running it down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then his fucking body stands yeah. up and like knocks like, his head right yeah, off. Yeah. Chokes, chokes right. his ass Smashes out, him knocks him out. Desk, yeah. Or and, table, um, rather. And that is where we have the introduction of the primary antagonist mm. of this fucking movie. Right. He revived goddamn Dr. Hill or tried to, like, as a part of his test, or uh uh uh, tests, excuse me, his data, and then like uh, gets more than he bargains for because apparently he'll like as, as opposed to all the other people he's fucking tested this thing on so far, is able to like just be, I mean, not completely cognizant, but I would say like maybe a good seventy percent 
ish or whatever. Well, Dark Dean Hall. And here's like, what I, here, here's all the people it, he's tested it on so far had like they've just been like blah. I'm gonna lie. Rah, 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 well, yeah, you know? and, okay. So, and it was the first one that was just like you motherfucker. Well, they discussed how <laughs> when they when they discussed how when they brought back the guy who had the heart failure, he was just running on senses and intuition or sure. instincts sure, or whatever. Sure, sure, sure. That's what they took. That's what they said. Right. So why is it when they brought back Dean Halsey, he was because he was actually because that was closer. Fresher. I think that was yes, exactly. Because closer to winning the. Uh, the window of what the brain is expected to be able to survive. I know, but, but he, that was came, pretty back close as, though, he yeah. came back as crazy as fuck. So why is it yes. when they bring back Dr. Hill, he's like, and again, that's what may, I'm saying, may, man. Maybe, maybe it has, has to do with the level of intelligence. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, uh, so well, yeah, well, you can tell me of. Dean Halsey is not as more, is not as at least intelligent yes. as Dr. Hill. Probably not. <laughs> well, Dr. Hill, is, he, according to Herbert West, he just plagiarizing his bullshit. He doesn't yep. have any ordinary ideas. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, dude. But the He's willpower. Going, I, I'm, that's what I'm getting at. I think he was doing some telepathy, fucking mysticism <laughs> shit, and that's why he's like, "Oh shit, I can bring myself back." Because he t- he talks about it, he's like it's about the will to live. That's the whole point of it is, and that's why he's able to. I you know what fuck. I'm gonna say it right now. That's why he brings back the whole army of the dead. He's got them under his control. It's all about mind power. Like, and that's yeah. why it's it's what's weird yes. to me. Um, is like, why is he able? Why is and he's just a fucking head? Why is he able to? Talk, think, formulate a plan of like how I'm going to become the most powerful the motherfucker. The power of his research. Yeah, because he talks about it, he's like, with an army of the dead, I, I can will have most- untold power. Yeah, he's like, unheard of power. <laughs> yeah. 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 And not only that, so it's an amalgamation. Yeah, and, and, so it's an amalgamation. Amorous plans of straight up. Fucking kind of lingus, dude. What the hell, man? Like, <laughs> I was, I was literally gonna say that. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking, and you know, best, anyway, disembodied head, like head of lingus. Head head like, like, <laughs> oh, the second head best is scene giving head, man. to actual can, death. Mm-hmm. What happens is uh, the the fucking dean's daughter gets pulled into this. Well, he, 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 he gets, he gets captures the dean. Her. He get, okay. He sends his headless body. No, no he the, hypnotizes. The, the dean. So she goes. Hypnotizes. She goes well, back. You know, she goes back to. Well, she goes back. Mind magic. Uh, yeah. Hall, the <laughs> brain magic. Yeah, Lady Halsey goes back. Bam. Yeah, I don't know her name is. Oh, Lady Halsey. Yeah. <laughs> Royals here. <laughs> the, gotcha. The, yes. Uh, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> the Virgin Halsey. No, she's not Virgin. So anyway. the queen. <laughs> <laughs> as far as her father. Yeah. Knows. No. Yeah. As far as exactly, man. She's Anyways, well, she goes back so to the, innocent. She goes back to that guy's office and she sees her dad. Yeah. All in the corner, like crumpled up, right? And whatever. Yeah. And she goes and he turns around and she knows that like, he's got the fucking like right. And that's head. when Dan tells her like, "Oh, hey, like he's, he's been, been bottomized." Mind. God, he's been uh, bottomized. Uh, yep, yep. Whatever. Yep, yep, so, yep. anyways, uh, when does he send her out? When does he send him out to go? Oh, to go and get her. Mm. Hold on. So the head gets cut off. So and he does. He, and then you know what? He comes, he, that's he, when he comes back he comes to the back. Uh, to and his what's, office. What's the point? What was the point of him getting those like uh, bags of blood and like putting it in the tray? What was I just the point of that? I just assume that it was Grossness something this factor or something. Just I don't know. A bit of that and a bit of just like oh he's a decapitated head and like I guess he needs blood. That's to, what like, I fucking said. Survive. Well, okay, you know that's whatever, what exactly you know? what I fucking said, Roland. You know, my like, girlfriend was like, well, why does he need blood? Is he like a vampire? And I was like, no, it's like he needs to stay wet like right. on the neck. Like, like, I was like how I don't else fucking is know. he gonna be able to fucking like keep <laughs> circulating? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Like, yeah, I was like, he's got to have some wetness, like, like lubrication down so, there. Interesting note, or that that like you bring up that I'm thinking of the serum, the the reagent or whatever. It doesn't heal the fucking tissue; it just reanimates it. And so, past yeah. the oh, fact, and he injects himself again. Yes, later yes on. he does. Yeah. To fucking keep his fucking brain, you know, mm. That's like what I firing think, or whatever. Yeah, well, like lie. early on, so, fucking again, in like, the movie, fucking West is like shown trying to like. Uh, plug another like syringe of the reagents into uh, Gruber, mm. and Gruber was already like reanimated. So it's like, is oh. there a shelf life on this shit or? What? Well, like, yeah. like I, it was, it was uh, specific to uh, each particular case because he never had a con- he never had a control. Yeah, I don't think like, they ever explicitly any explained of his, uh, uh, like any of his um, experiments. It was always just like. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna take advantage of like this particular situation. Okay, this guy's been dead for two days, but his body's perfect. All right, 
you know, oh, this guy just died like five minutes ago. Even better. Let's let's and see what it looks like. Like he was very much a fucking trial and error scientist. It wasn't a whole like there was no um art to like, it. No, well, <laughs> well I mean, I plan. There was there was no there was no structure. There was no structure. It was, was very. He was very much it, an opportunist. It was very haphazardly because yes. he yes. when he first because reanimated the the bodybuilder guy, he's like, oh, okay, well nothing's happening. He's like, oh, I gotta. I gotta, compa- was, I gotta compensate for the amount of right. the time he was dead. He was so he like gives like always, twenty cc's, like almost a full syringe. Like, all right, well, fuck, we'll see what this does. Like, <laughs> he was he was always just trying to take advantage of the uh, the situation more because he, because he, like for his fucking studies, obviously nobody fucking believes him, and so he was just like, fuck, I'm gonna take what I can get. Mm, which and, maybe that maybe Hans Gruber did discover the reanimating agent and he's just like a kid running around with it being like oh well let's see how much this does like let's see how much so herbert west perfected it yeah Yeah. well because like he doesn't know because when he injects again when he injects the first human guy like we see when he injects it not hans river but the the fucking rip dude he injects him and he's like oh nothing's happening it's it's been this many like like, well maybe 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 because he's been more dead like let's fight so he gets like this huge fucking and that's yeah. when he starts coming alive. There's, it's not exact. What yeah. did you What did you say that that's uh, a result of not having like a controlled situation? Because yeah, if he had like uh, for all of his tests, yeah, he wasn't I, I, doing. He, he was not following. I would say he's not like following any kind of scientific method. Really, he's, he's, think about no, it. No, absolutely well, because not. yes, because wow, he, I mean, he didn't have curious. access to like corpses that have died and someone mm. giving him to him, like right. giving nope. him the corpses. That he had to been. just kind of like jump on the opportunity yep. as it came. You yep. know, and again going with the trial and error thing is that like if this didn't work and he has to work quickly because because again no no one's giving him the dead the, the corpses that are fresh or uh that have Rolling just died Daniel. recently he has to just keep on going what's his null hypothesis so. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> it's, it's uh fuck you i'm like a lot of beer in and all right, all right. <laughs> Oh, wouldn't it just be that nobody comes to life? Wouldn't yeah. that be his only possible? Oh, actually, oh, yeah. Yeah, I would guess that is Roland's like response to um, eat right. a dick. Yeah. All right. <laughs> exactly. And I think he even mentioned that at one point. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing. But he already knew something was going to happen. No, yeah, he absolutely did. But he's just, again, he's trying to rationalize to everyone else. Like, look, why, right, like, why do you got to be a war- yeah. big deal or whatever? Like, if it doesn't work, it doesn't why work. You, why you got to be know? Herbert West big dick? Why you got to be like that? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so, um, again, so, we are talking about that instance where... He brings Dr. Hill back. Right. So, before we go into <laughs> any further, up, we know that uh, Herbert West, at some point, he come, he encounters Dr. Hill, and they have the final battle where he brings back all the dead folk and stuff. Right, yeah. But, so they go in to try to stop. Yes, but... Uh, that that is kind of like the end of the movie because well, uh, we find out that he had a secret. Well, and I guess I don't find out, but it's, it's quote unquote reveal that he had a crush on the daughter because you right. know what's so funny? It's it's pretty we much, know. it's pretty much implicit it's, it's, that like yes, at the yeah. beginning, or like when he's there and Dan Are, comes over, he's like, "Oh, we're gonna go study." He's like, "Why don't you, study, why don't you study here?" here? Why don't you sit here naked? Naked. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> thank you. Let's, yeah. let's, let's talk yeah. about the scene. Naked right? with yeah. you in another room, yeah. Dan. And and again, uh, I'll, I'll just a don't, lot of, don't mind that hole in the wall. A lot of the controversy of this movie relies on this scene alone. So we have Dr. Halsley, who's been decapitated. Kill. Yes, and then we find it, he's, 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 been he's been reanimated too. Yeah, we right. find out he's been collecting shit from her like over the years. That's is he right. That? right they only he, mention, he says no, that, does he? Say that? No, Dan does. Dan oh. is Dan tells uh yeah, Herbert, he I finds think, that file. He's like, uh, he's got a file on her with like her hair and like her panties some or some pen- shit. Mm, yeah, some panties. And he's yeah. like, I'm fucking worried. Who wants to talk about the scene? Wait, did you get some Crampton put did you get Crampton panties when you were there? I didn't. I wish I did. Okay, so you weren't like I've always loved you. <laughs> <laughs> 150 um, bucks. Yeah. Okay, so the scene that we're referring to is that um, Doctor Hill um, has has Megan Hosley lied out naked on mm. the oh, what is that scene. table called? Oh, a gurney. No, uh, gurney? no, a slab, a slab, a slab whatever. What? Um, so basically. 
He's he's also uh, professing his love for her in a, in a sense. Yeah, after her father rips her clothes yeah. off. Yeah. Boom, boom, tits and bush. He it's cold, man. I, it, gra- he's yes. holding his decapitated head. Ray, it harkens back to undercover brother. Cold. <laughs> what a cold. <laughs> God, some damn top it. corn. Uh, yeah, some top God, damn it. Bryce. Bryce. Yeah. Safe sex, my brothers. Bryce. Safe, safe. safe, safe. What does Dr. Hill do to Megan Hosley? Oh, well, he, he gets that head up, man, and he's like, oh, uh, kisses her a bit. I've always loved you. Yes, I have always loved you. Uh, I've yeah. always my, loved you. Oh, yeah. my, my, oh, my tongue. <laughs> my tongue is really yes. long. Oh, no, he says, uh, yeah, what the fuck he says? Like, I've always admired your beauty. Yes. In fact, I've always loved you, my dear. Which I'm thinking, like, okay, how bad has he known that <laughs> yeah, person? Yeah, no shit. Well, oh, that's a little bit creepy because he could have uh, technically bit? been a professional relationship with Dean Halsey, like when she was like, man, oh, for sure. like, like, fucking, yeah, for sure. like yeah. fucking 10 or yeah, some shit. Like, man, I watched you grow up yeah. into a woman. Oh, shit, man. But he goes down fucking on, some, creep. on some fucking nipples. And then, and then, yep, some head, head, given head, man, you know. But I will say this that wasn't, uh, uh, Ray, I watched it on Shudder. Uh, it might have been a bit edited because I remember that fucking scene going a little bit longer than that. Well, uh, maybe we, I don't. I, I honestly quick, can't. Tell and him. I was like, "What the he fuck?" He doesn't is this? really get down into there, but no, no. Wait, it was, wait, it was, it was it a I, I, I saw it on they busted yeah. in. Mm. Yeah, maybe it was the director's cut. I remember, but I remember there well, being. Well, I remember there being a lot longer down there because I was real disappointed. I was like, "Damn, dude! Like, you, <laughs> come on, so man!" I remember. Can, can, I, like, can I ask you a question? He really fixated on her titties. Can I ask you a question? It was like a little bit of the click. What? Like he what? Started, I think he was I, about I, ready to zip those that fucking headless bodies zipper down, man. And fucking go down on there, man. Can I ask you a question. He's, he's a gentleman at the heart. Whenever you we all saw this scene for the first time, like what were your thoughts on that? Half chub. Yeah, man. What do you mean, dude? <laughs> I well, would be doing the same. Here's thoughts. what I would be doing, Ray. Right? You want to hear what I was doing? Is I that would all? Leave, Ray, I would leave <laughs> the head. I would leave the head there. Yeah. Do its thing. The torso, zipping pants down. She could you suck know, my dick. Right. I'm going down on her with the fucking she head. She should have been the torso his head. She should have been <laughs> she should have been flipped over. That's a new kind of, of 69 you never face heard of, up. Ray. Instead of face up, she should have been flipped over and he should have just like like planted his face on her ass. Oh, fuck yes. There's so much shit you could do, Ray, with the fucking I mean, come on, dude. Come on, man. Can I ask you a question? Uh, Lay Bryce. the head down, face up, right. face up on the table. Hold on. Get her on all fours. <laughs> Set her up on a sex fuck, swing. You could fuck her just in the butt. Lower, you could be looking at her pussy the whole just, time, dude. Just lower is, her is, down is on there, his face. Is there a, There's so much you could do with is the there, Is there a video? Have of, some imagination, uh, Ray. Is there a video called uh, Decapitated Porn on Pornhub? If there's not, there should be. Okay. Ray, when, you're when talking was the about first time some, you saw this. You're Bruce. talking about some dark webs. No Ray, shit. W- Ray, it is so simple. We could do that. Do the whole head trick where it's like a, <laughs> a fucking table. <laughs> Let's make some porn, Ray. Let's make some porn. Come on. When was the first time you saw this, Bruce? This movie. I I was I was probably pretty young. I don't remember when I saw it. I don't remember. I was I was young. Do you remember it. the head? Because the Kunlinga singing. Did you see the, the like the DVD or the VHS of it, or like did you catch it like me on fucking cable or whatever? Sense this fuck, kind of kind of bit. Because God, I, I really was, don't remember, man. I really yeah. don't remember. But uh, I was probably in young teens when I saw it, man. What What was your reaction when you saw that scene? Mm. Honestly, I'm gonna say for me, like I was like, Fuck yeah, there. I can't believe they're fucking <laughs> that doing was Bryce. it. Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I wish I could remember it. I don't. I don't remember. Do you? Little, do you, I mean? Can you imagine at that particular time, 1985? There's whenever this scenes, movie came few out, scenes I remember. That these Ray, these a motherfuckers lot of... are fucking that in a decapitated head. When was it? When was it released again? 1985. 85. Oh. We'll go over the movies that came out in that it's time. It's two years right? before I was born. It was a good year for me. Uh, yeah, because you were born. Fuck yeah. yeah. Well, two years before I was born, so I don't remember exactly when I saw it, but they. Yeah. There's a lot of scenes I remember as a kid. Uh, a few scenes I remember was uh, from Excalibur. 
Uh, you know <laughs> Patrick Stewart. Uh, it, well, okay. Before he, Patrick Stewart comes out, when they're fucking, the guy's got his arm on, he's fucking that bitch. I remember that. I saw that as a kid. And I remember oh. seeing Bordello of Blood Fuck and yeah. a lot of, as a kid. And oh. my parents are like, uh, they rented that movie Best. and they were like watching it. And like when <laughs> it just came out, my dad's like, cover his eyes. I was like, oh, but man, I, it was I too had late. A few I was those. like, I had a few of those. Where <laughs> it's too late. I, I like was, those. Yeah, was, my, my dad was like, don't Dennis tell, Miller. don't tell, don't tell your mother you saw this. Like, <laughs> you go, is this, is this proper etiquette for a conservative, Dennis? Uh, that's right, man. <laughs> Should I be taking notes? Fucking Dennis um, Miller be like, I don't want to go on a tangent here, but uh, this I kid's too young to be seeing these titties. Roland, like, what did you, uh, again, the first time, if you can remember, the first time you saw this, Fucking what USA, was your reaction USA to that scene? TNT. Oh, so you saw it, like, you saw it yeah. edited. Right? They did not put oh. that on there. Like, what I saw was uh, Dr. Hill fucking decapitated, like, ruined the whole, I loved you, and whatever. Mm-hmm. You, I, know, you know you probably saw it on Monster Vision with Joe Bob. No. Mm-hmm. That's the case. No, no, I didn't. Because if they were going to air that, when, when would they have aired it? Like, fucking, like, like, Skinamax times or after 10 kind of stuff? Uh, yeah. Right. yeah when I, but it when was I, still when a bit of heavily this, edited, though. When I saw this, it was, like, afternoon-ish. Kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Never kind mind. of bit. So that's how I knew. I was like, no. I'm, I'm going to say that because I saw a lot of uh, Cinemax erotica. Yeah, with like, all, I the, all, all the sex scenes come out. I cut did out. Not, they no. were all cut out. Yeah. No, I, yeah. I, as a kid, I didn't have that. I didn't have that. Mm. Uh, Cinemax. Privilege. Cinemax. Yeah. Uh, Daniel. Emmanuel yeah. in space. Oh, let's What's not even up? get into that. that that's er- a Patreon. Erotic, erotic Confessions 12. Uh, Daniel. Taxi um, Cab Confessions. When was the first time we saw this movie? Shock videos. Yes. Oh, Yesterday, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I ask you a question? Like, um, in this, uh, in, at your age, like, what did you think of the scene where the decapitated head is giving cunnilingus? You're so baked to bro. Barbara Crump- um, Barbara Crampton. I did not like it because <laughs> I, I don't like it. any movie that has, has any like rapey sort of uh, shit. That's right. You did. You didn't mention. You did mention that <sighs> on the a, Valley so Strange episode. That's a good. That's such a good a, point. Such a gentleman. When I was watching this, I thought it was a comedy. I was like, this is so dumb. It is. And you know oh, what? Yeah, but she had like no free will in that situation. So it was like ironic that like, I want to study will, but I'm gonna uh, deny and, hey, free that will one to that right hand cuff Punani. was not that right hand cuff was not locked. In the context of maturity, well, she <laughs> it was not away, locked. But like, I, I think she was cognizant of that the whole fact. I think she was no, cognizant the whole time. Bryce, three quarters of her fucking <laughs> appendages were still bound. <laughs> She was uh, pretty much She could have knocked that head away at any time. She could have knocked hey, that fucking head away at any time. She is a strong, man. independent woman. Okay. <laughs> she could have uh, knocked that head bound. away. And she did knock that head away. But she uh, knock that would have been hilarious. Uh, yeah. Dan- Daniel, you did mention stuff. that. And I, I can. Uh, she was paralyzed by fear. I can respect the fact that you. So, uh, like, that's. Said a, that. So, I'm just like, no, no. Lee. <laughs> no. I. And that's all Again, I'm focused uh, on. So, so like, like they're, when they're, they they're, busted in and like ruined that kind of lingus <laughs> to happen scene, I was like, yes, there are two bodies. Guys are there, here. there are two bodies of thought that we can go with here. Yes, absolutely, Daniel. <laughs> There's a fucking rape scene. Absolutely, it was fucking the worst, like creepiest shit. And like, why but am no, I watching? But it this? was funny. Yes, I'm not condoning it. The other, the other scene. What the yes, fuck? The what other are you scene, gonna see? Like, where the other scene like, and or the other aspect of this is that it's fucking comedy. Are you fucking kidding me? This is so ridiculous. How am I watching this? It's a fucking headless goddamn zombie professing his love for a girl, and his headless body is slowly fucking lowering his face into giving her head. God damn. And and we'll we'll get into the interruption that uh, Herbert West gave. That's the dumbest shit. With the quotes in just a moment. I love you. Tongue, 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 tongue. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Is that that the uh, rendition of uh, a rendition of uh, the Cisco song? (laughs) Tongue, 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 tongue. tongue. Yeah. (laughs) Let me uh, let me wrap this movie up, and then we can go into the extra details of this movie. Okay, so uh, Dr. Hill, is he's doing the, all this shit that we just talked about. So um, um, Herbert West comes in, interrupts this whole uh, cunnilingus situation, and Dan, uh, Dan Kane comes in and rescues uh, Megan Helsley. I brought you back to life, and this is what you do with yeah, it? Yeah, like- and, and by the way, 
It, that is. fucking Herbert West delivers my favorite Man. line in the whole hold thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My favorite quote. I don't know. We'll talk about we'll the favorite quote in just a second. Herbert quote. West is a cutthroat motherfucker in this. I love it. Yeah. Okay. All, the time, love all it. the whole time. Every all time. he's ever thinking about is credibility yeah. and like who's going to get fucking. <laughs> <like, laughs> that's all he ever thinks about. It, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a fucking headless corpse yeah. with the, uh, the whole. It, it doesn't give a fuck. He's like, uh, how, who's going to believe you? Like, you know, if I, I, I'm going to get credit for it. I, I'm not going to say the line because that's my favorite quote in the movie. We'll talk about the quote in just a minute. Herbert West comes in, disrupts disrupts his fucking uh, <laughs> yeah. Dis- disrupts uh Dr. Hill's plan. Dan Kane comes in, rescues fucking Megan Hosley. There's a whole scuffle that goes on where uh Megan Hosley ends up kind of unconscious. We're going to end the in the end the movie with uh Dan Kane who's trying to revive his girlfriend. Yeah. And he injects a serum into her. Yeah. That's where the movie goes black. And then you hear right. Bryce, um, you had mentioned earlier where uh, there's some kind of like uh, connection going on with the uh, Doctor Hill and where he's into some mysticism. There is a scene where in the end of the movie where uh, Doctor Hill kind of re- can I just like say- by mind power alone it seems it reanimates all the fucking oh, persons. Wow. I- but but hold on. No, uh, whenever Doctor Hill on. is being, um, his eyes are being shoved in. Mm-hmm. Remember that part? <laughs> yeah. And everyone, of all course. the rest of them, feeling pain. Right, they're feeling yes. pain. So they're okay. okay. Okay, Bryce. My, can you elaborate on that? There's really, idea? there's really nothing to say. Uh oh. Like, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Some contention here, man. But, uh, no, no, not necessarily. Like, no, no, hold I, on. I, I don't. There's nothing to elaborate on. Can I just, can I just sort of go ahead, man? Yes, go ahead, go ahead. So. To that point and uh, to what you mentioned before, I don't agree in that like there's any sort of mysticism like having to do with any of this. I disagree but, completely. But wrong. At that point is when <laughs> I'm just like, okay, you know what? Like this, this is like this the scene is on the this is like scene of the fucking this, Monty Python, the Holy like, Grail. Like, this this is something that just like okay, <laughs> what, what does that have to do with anything that like uh, uh, is scientifically like stated in what they're talking about? Like wrong. why is it? Why no, what no, no. is the velocity like, what, of why? the European swallow? <laughs> <laughs> no swallow. So it's like what African, I what I meant is African that, swallow, in so that like mean, I, fuck I you, know. dude, fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't studied Monty Python as a. As well dude, as was that your graduate Christ, program, Christ, man? Thank I mean, you, yeah. man. This is like the fucking uh, like Daniel's a flying circus like, scholar. Python's coming to like play. So like man. okay, look. <laughs> Oh, Jesus man. Christ! Oh, um, shit. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you right now, this unedited version control, yes. is gonna go on Patreon oh, for is sure. The on the bright so, side of like, life. <laughs> Bryce had been saying like uh, a bit about the Life's like a piece of shit. Doctor Hill, uh, Doctor Hill saying, uh, or Doctor Hill having like a whole like uh, a belief in mysticism uh, melding with with his particular science or beliefs in uh, in his studies. Uh, I, I didn't agree with it up until the point. When, uh, like you said, like uh, the dean like takes his decapitated head, like puts out his eyes with his thumbs, and all of the fucking bodies that are being controlled like writhe in pain. Uh, that is where I'm just. That's where I start questioning. Uh, um, the, oh, that's where you start questioning this movie. <laughs> nah, no, motherfucker. <laughs> that's where uh, I start questioning like uh, the, 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 the blend of mysticism and, and, and traditional science. Okay. Like up until that point, I'm just like, let okay, say, this is, let, this is where let, Herbert West is doing his studies and like bringing shit people in back. And it's like, okay, wait, this doesn't make any sense. Like, okay, well, let, let me retract it. Hard it. Hard let hard me hard retract hard it. Hard maybe hard make hard. any sense within the context of the movie. Okay. Well, I'm going to retract my statement and say, maybe mysticism, not the right word for it, it's but a, it sounds it's very, it's it sounds a, like mysticism. Movie, adjacent. Movie, movie what studies, sounds like real philosophical, the way he's talking about the will to, the will to live, like the whole point of living is like just the will to live or whatever the fuck. Like to me, I was like, what, what is it? will to live? That sounds, but uh, I don't know who said it earlier. And I said, you, when somebody mentioned that maybe he's more of a psychologist than a neurosurgeon, I, I was did. like, oh, you know, what? okay. Uh, okay. So then, yes, maybe that makes a lot of sense. But he could be doing the power of suggestion, even, hypnos- hypnotism. Even that saying uh, uh, to the fact, but why is why it that is, they. Yeah, why are they writhing in pain exactly. when, when where, they're gouging his eyes out? That wouldn't, even like, then, it's like. Where's the feedback coming unless, from? Yeah, from those, unless it's some kind guys. of. There's no, there's no point so within the movie. That is that where I agree with because, you. Because um, there, there's no point within the movie that shows that. Anyone that has that has in, 
projected these uh, corpses with uh, the serum can project their emotions or pain. No, onto absolutely not. Else. Nothing. He just says that he has this. He's lobotomized them and has. Uh, and, and as far as I know, uh, in the real you know world, people who get lobotomized. I don't think who, who, who the person who lobotomized them like if they get stubbed right. their toe, the fucking person. In the fucking, <laughs> right, they feel out of rooms like, oh fuck. shit, yeah. my toe hurts too. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. That's that's my whole thing about it. You know, um, <laughs> <that's> like, <laughs> yeah. it was, nice. Uh, I just don't know, man. It just it just seems weird to me. It's like what what is he doing? Like it's it's very uh, a lot of esoterica. Like what. I don't know. The I, whole thing about willpower is like, what's well, weird to me? I don't know. So, like, no, yeah, and, and yeah. again, I, I, I have questions about that as science. well because. And if you know, like, H.P. Lovecraft is all about that. It's like sort of science fiction with science fantasy. Sure. Right. There's a lot yeah. of magic in his, yes. you know, summoning yeah. old ones like well, the Necronomicon, the like spells, and I mean, right, I mean I you, can, you can almost say that Stuart Gordon may have played upon that a little bit, mm. maybe not intentionally, maybe accidentally. Because there's no reason for there's, all the other corpses to yeah, feel the pain that no Doctor Hill is feeling whenever his eyes are being gouged out. There's there's no explanation to it at all. Yeah. Okay, so um, again, we want to move on. If you have not seen this movie, just fucking watch the movie. It's great. All right, so we're gonna go on to the next part of our uh, segment here. As long as this episode has been uh, favorite quotes, <laughs> it'll be heavily edited. Uh, Probably not, because there's a lot of relevant pieces of this movie. Favorite quotes. So favorite quotes. I'm gonna go with. Let's so my my, my favorite uh, quotes this movie, and I I don't remember the specifics, is when uh, the cat dies, mm -hmm. right? And he's just like uh, he's suffocated. Like, why didn't you send me a message? Uh, what was I gonna say? Mm -hmm. Cat died. More later, yeah. and, and I'll I'll get the direct quote from you, and go ahead, go I, ahead. it's actually the second quote on IMDb. If you want to check this out, it says Dan Kane, cat Dan's cat died and been found in Herbert's refrigerator. You can call or write a note, and Herbert West says, "I was busy pushing bodies around, as you well know." And what would I say? What would the note say? Dan? Question mark. Cat dead. Details later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, what he wrote on my hilarious. Um, uh, picture when I saw him. It's so fucking at good. Texas Friday weekend. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Laugh my ass. And, off. and he it's says it. Like, he says yeah. it very deadpan. Yeah. There's not. There's no. Uh, the there's which no is, uh, which humor is, uh, involved. Which there's is no a testament levity, to yeah. fucking yeah. that. That's great, man. That's, <laughs> but uh, it's honestly, a testament to Jeffrey Coombs's goddamn acting. Like the guy is so funny. I fucking love it. The quote. If I can go a second, man. Yes, no, I'm done. I'm done. The quote I because it, it all comes down to it. The quote I would have him write on that shit, man. On my is that when he goes down to the basement or when he goes into uh, Doctor Hall's, uh, Doctor Hill's like laboratory. All shit after that. He's ta he's still going on. He's like talking about who's gonna get credit for the fucking serum, and he's like. And he tells him, who's going to believe a talking head? Get a job in a side show. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That was my favorite fucking quote. That, that, that was good. That was fucking uh, gossip. Fuck yeah. Get a job. When, oh, God damn. When, Jeffrey Coom, when Herbert West talks shit, like, God damn. Yeah. Like, he is so But he's like, after everything's sharp. going on, he's still like, oh, who's going to believe you? Like huge smart ass. Yeah. It's, it's the best. Like, his character is awesome. Uh, so Daniel, good. do you have any uh, quotes from this movie that you uh, I prefer? don't, man. The, like, there was a ton of funny shit in this movie, but there was nothing that like really stuck out to me. Is like give yourself a minute. Superb. Okay, um, if that's the case, I'm gonna read a few quotes from IMDb. Oh, and he, uh, here we go. Uh, this one is from Herbert West. It says, "I must say, Doctor Hill, I'm very disappointed in you. You steal the secret of life and death, and here you are." Uh, Tristan with a bubble-headed co-ed yeah. and not even a second-rate scientist. Yeah. Nice. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, Dr. Hill. Uh, Dr. Hill's head just awakened. He says, West. <sighs> Herbert West. Yes, doctor. It's Herbert West. What are you thinking? How do you feel? <laughs> and then Dr. Hill says, Yeah. And Herbert West says, you <laughs> and then Dr. Hill says, Bastard, <laughs> you mentioned that earlier, Bryce. Yeah. Um, I like his reaction to that, too. He's like, Whoa, like, Whoa, you fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
Let me write this shit down. Yeah. Um, there's another quote from Herbert West that says, reading off the toe tags in the morgue, says, burn victim, Herbert West, here's your meatball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shotgun wound to the head. Dan Kane, oh, God, he's rotten. And then Herbert West says, malpractice. Yeah, malpractice. <laughs> malpractice. You know, he's like, malpractice. <laughs> that was a great line. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Fuck. Um, God damn it. Why didn't I remember that shit? Here's another yeah. quote. It says, Herbert West, Hill. Hill took my serum, my notes, everything. And this is after uh, he got knocked in the head from Dr. Hill. Dan Kane says, uh, Herbert, you're insane. Now what happened here? Herbert West says, I had to kill him. Dan Kane, what, he's dead? Herbert West, reluctantly, not anymore. <laughs> Dan Kane, Herbert, grabbing Herbert and shaking him. Dan Kane, he's got, uh, this has got to stop. Of course, that's, yeah. I, I've got one. So, it's 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 the actual fucking uh, dialogue when of of my favorite scene when uh, West is decapitating Hill, and I didn't see this or I didn't hear this when it was actually happening. But reading this, I was like, oh, this is hilarious. Robert West hits Doctor Hill over the head from behind with a shovel, then while decapitating him by driving the blade of the shovel through his neck. Plagiarist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And again, when he killed the cat, uh, don't expect it to tango. Yeah, he's yeah. a broken yeah. back. Killed the cat. <laughs> a broken back. Yeah. Ah. Uh-huh. Um, okay, so anybody favorite scenes uh, in this like, movie? Like I said uh, before. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Bryce, favorite scenes. Ah, just mm, say it. There you go, just buddy. Say it, there you go. Come on, I'm just like, that's, that's, that's a good one, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, that's like the fucking the big one, man, right? I don't know, dude. I like when he injects, like, when he goes and he fucking, like, he's like, my theory, uh, fucking Dan, overdose. And he, like, fucking, he, like, stabs the guy with the two syringes. He, he stabs the dean. Yeah, yeah, with the fucking two syringes and shit. Yeah, and, like, the yeah. fucking intestines come out. Mm-hmm. But, like, how, okay, man, I love how. After all that, man, he's dying. He's getting fucking strangled by intestines. Oh, all what all he cares notes. about is the research, the science, yeah. and that's yeah. what to me is like. He's just, it's, he's like a fucking amoral brain, no right or wrong, right? Science, and he throws like my notes, yeah, my he, notes. He throws he's his double back. He wants the fucking shit to carry on. And, and I mean, he says that he, he's yeah. like that from the very beginning. Yeah. So you like, he, there's no change in Herbert West. No, From the beginning no. of the movie to the to very the end. end of the movie, he's yeah. dying. He's, he's like, my notes. Yeah. He doesn't even care if he gets credit at that point. He's dying. He's like, he doesn't I don't even care. Like, care if he take dies it, as long research, as research, pass it on. His notes yeah. continue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I believe Don John said it best in the poem: "Death be not proud, <laughs> though some have called thee mighty and dreadful. Thou art not so." <laughs> <laughs> ah, sploosh. Yeah, sorry, uh, <laughs> Roland. Go ahead. <laughs> No, yeah, uh, I I already told you before. My favorite scene is when uh, Hill gets decapitated with the fucking shovel, uh, and like reading that quote or whatever that he said, plagiarism, like just makes it even better for me. Like I I I thought it was the funniest shit. Um, mm. And the scene directly leading to uh, from I, that where he like taps his fucking pencil on his face. Yeah, again, rolling. I feel I'm feeling seconds. some personal some personal coming. From me. <laughs> yeah. uh, how many times do you wish you had decapitated oh. some peers with the shovel? Oh. <laughs> As your uh, legal representative, uh, don't Daniel. That. Thank you, Moquis Law. Law. Yeah. Yeah. Law. Yeah. Law. Yeah. I recommend. As you your counsel, I advise you not to shut like, the fuck up. <laughs> Dealing in hypothetical crimes. Shut the fuck up. This is me shutting the fuck <laughs> Unless up. Unless you got fur or fangs, do not re- do not answer the question. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. Fur, fangs, or wings. Do not answer that question. Uh Daniel. Was bigoted against chupacabras because they have scales, allegedly. <laughs> You're right. Daniel, what do you have a the, favorite uh, scene the, in this the movie? The three S. We got to go three S. In Dude, psychology, like I, it's it's fighting, fucking, or fleeing. Right. But we gotta think of something like right. fangs, fur. fur. We gotta find them for third. Feathers. Yeah, feathers. There you go. Feathers. There you go. A three F. <laughs> uh, Daniel, no, favorite movie, uh, favorite quote, uh, or um, favorite scene in this movie. Sorry. Um. Nope, don't have any. Like actually, right. this uh, whole movie is just fun, man. 
Gotcha. Anything in particular? You this is like your first time no. watching this movie. Yeah. So anything like, in I particular you enjoyed the most, watch. like Herbert West's character, fucking being his like almost mischievous little. Uh, no, uh, actually, not really. Like it was like my first like run through. So like it was a. Uh, well, I yeah. really had. Uh, I have like an overall positive opinion of it, but I haven't like delved into it and watched a shitload, which is what I. Usually do with us in Quest, which is uh, weird. Uh, man, I mean, it's a pretty I, short movie. Uh, I feel like how long the, is it run? To me personally, the best quotes, the best War quotes from West come from the second so. movie, dude. Like an hour forty. Oh, and we'll yeah. save those for yeah. the second I, movie. Okay, the okay. thank you, thank second. you. Yes. Um, okay, so um, I'm gonna say my favorite movie, or for, I'm sorry, favorite, favorite scene movie? in this oh, fucking. All right, let's hear it, man. Like I'm fucking, I'm fucking <laughs> drunk. drunk. So. Yeah. I'm Control yourself, Ray. Control yourself. Um, animal. I will. <laughs> I, I first saw this movie on VHS again. Yeah, not how old are you? 13? Not soon after. He was soon 13. after. Thirteen. You know. Soon Animals. after. Soon after was, I saw uh, Sleepaway Camp, mm. and um, it was like 2001, 2002 when I first saw this movie. It's wow. like after high school. A tender age of thirteen. The tender age, tender of, 13. age of thirteen. And, and um, uh, favorite scenes is pretty much anything. Jeffrey Combs is in Wait, and did his you have lines somebody delivery. head going down on you, man. I wish. <laughs> 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 that was a sheen that uh, a scene. Sheen? That, a sheen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow, Ray. Uh, <laughs> that was a uh, Ray here. Were you watching Hot Shots, man? Recently? Yes, I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a scene that did uh, shock me at the at the first when I whenever I first saw it because a sheen that shocked you yeah a scene that a shocked sheen? me yeah. no a sheen that shocked him um, <laughs> there you go I, I couldn't I couldn't yes, believe that yes, there was yes. a decapitated head giving some girl head on camera and yeah. I thought it was fucking hilarious so um, that any sort of um, scene where Jeffrey Combs is delivering a line it's when I first kind of Saw Jeffrey Combs and I was like, "Man, this guy's fucking great. So he's awesome." And this was your first Jeffrey Combs movie. Yes, it was. Okay. Uh, again, I I mentioned after I saw the Frighteners, but I didn't realize it was the same, the same, same guy, guy at the time. Oh, because Lord. I wasn't too familiar with Jeffrey Combs. Sure. So when I saw him, it didn't register that it was the same guy. Okay. Uh, but yeah, man, um, pretty much anything, he's, yeah. anything, any scene where he's in, and he's delivering a line like I was intrigued by and I it was my favorite because again mm -hmm. if anyone sees Jeffrey Combs in a movie like he really does kind of um he, he capture it. the scene like yeah, he, he really he does it. like fucking all the yeah he is a great actor in my opinion he really is and he's he should amazing. be in more movies but I yeah. will say if you want movies that he's the main actor in or like one of the main parts reanimator series and as far as I know Castle Freaks Castle Freak. I don't. I mean, Frighteners. He has a. He's there not is a, the main. There is a movie on Netflix called Would You Rather. Oh, I, he, I haven't seen that one. That, Never. That's a good one as no well. No idea. Okay, so um, after our favorite scenes, uh, we did quotes. So we're gonna see like what movies did this movie open against in oh a, fuck in the October because it came out October nineteen eighty five. And if Holy you know, fuck. if you know anything about the the year nineteen fucking eighty five, mm. you won't be surprised by this fucking list. And I'm gonna tell you right now, like it's a doozy. All right. Well, all right. Here, hold on. Here we go. Commando. Mm. <laughs> Demons. Mm. Oh yeah. shit! Have you seen Demons? Yeah, of, course seen Demons? I, of course I've fucking seen Demons. Man. It's fucking That's fantastic, here, right? <sighs> Check yourself, bitch. Check. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Please. God damn it, Ray. Okay, have we, we also have dignity. Silver Bullet. Anyone Ooh, seen Silver Bullet? Of course. That is Dude. a Stephen King adaptation. Better Off Dead. John Cusack. <sighs> Holy fuck! He was Brainiac and Injustice too. Hilarious. Go ahead. Remo <laughs> Williams. Anyone seen Remo Williams? I fucking love that movie. That one I've not seen. No. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 Deuce uh, Probably the most hated Nightmare on Elm Street wow. But also <laughs> Is that the Dream the, Warriors? Or is that the no, 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 that's, that's uh, Oh, that's yeah the um, That was Those were those the movies that came out Jesus Christ In October Really? Oh, okay well, Now that's not too bad. Hold on Let's talk about the movies that came out In 1985 And he's done so much voice acting shit Like, I don't know if you guys have looked at his fucking uh, Are you ready? Go ahead. The Goonies. Indeed. 
No. What? Back to the Future. Ooh. Breakfast Whoa. Club. Ooh. St. Elmo's Fire. Woo! Clue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. Weird, weird Science. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Return yeah. of the Living Dead. Oh. Fuck yeah. Uh, ooh. Color Purple. Ooh. ooh. And wow. Here, here we go. Daniel, you ready? <laughs> the, last drag- the Last Dragon. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. No shit. Ooh. Well, um, okay. As Le- what? Well, okay. so legend. No chance. Oh, legend. What was last legend. dragon on the Le- stack? Ooh. What? Just one of the guys. God damn, Hilarious. this guy's mm-hmm. done so much stuff. I'm, I'm Teen Wolf. Of- no shit. Wow. I was just looking at these. Fright Night. He's in the 4400. <laughs> Fright Night. Fright Night, bro. Oh, shit. The Wizard. One of my favorites, Power. Real Genius. Hat. Oh, that movie's great, actually. Mm. Summer Rental, John Candy. Mm. House. <sighs> House? Yeah. What? I, well, I, I actually like the Day I of like the, the first Dead. Two seasons. Day of the Dead came out All right. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Brewster's Millions. Ooh, damn. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Star Trek Emper- Enterprise, bitch. Oh, <laughs> Cat's <laughs> Eye. That's what uh, Drew Barrymore. Ooh. He was in CSI. This movie was getting. Are you, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you ready? This movie was getting pummeled. <laughs> Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. <laughs> Whoa. No. Uh, may I may, may I put in Ray? He was in Fear.com. <laughs> Enemy mine. Tom D. Jackass. Oh, nice. Enemy mine, anyone? Fucking asshole. Uh, I don't know. That's nah, with, uh, I love that movie, man. Bitch, I'm still getting over home improvement. Get away from me. Return to Oz. That movie's no fucked shit. up. That movie's fucked up. That movie's I've fucked only up, seen but, that uh, once. That's a Drew Barrymore in too, doesn't it? Uh, uh, no, no, that has a uh, Frieza so, bulk. Oh, okay. oh, hot Rocky Four, Ooh. motherfucker! This movie oh, had wow. no it chance. went that far. <laughs> Clint Eastwood, Pell Ryder. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, wow! Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Life Force, Toby Hooper. Ooh, Life Force was a good movie. Mm-hmm. Okay, it was not a big success, but it was a good movie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You ready for this one? Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Really? Oh, <sighs> I feel bad for this movie, dude. <laughs> Yes, Rambo, no chance. Part what? two. What? Rambo, part two. What is this bullshit. No. Red Sonia. Wait a minute. Wow. Wait a minute. I'm gonna Rocky. No. What did you say? Rocky four. No. Four. Okay. And Jamie, Rambo part two. Jamie yeah. put How Red Sonia. How does Sylvester Stallone fall, find the fucking time? Because he's got. He's fucking talented. Jamie That's put how. Red Sonia on Plex. <laughs> Where the fuck is this hold garbage? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna go back to that. Hold on. Uh, here's the thing about Red Sonia. It's yeah, that's it's, just a fucking Schwarzenegger vehicle, it's man. It's garbage. Fuck that bitch. It's all about Schwarzenegger yeah. in that movie. Yes. Hold on. Hold no, on. No. 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 Like. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. You're absolutely right. Fletch. Ooh, what? Oh, Chevy Chase. Spies like us. Oh, mm, Dan oh, Aykroyd and mm, fucking Chevy Chase, mm, bro. Yep. This is all 1985. And the Madonna vehicle. No. Desperately seeking Susan. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and 1985 was a very busy year, man. It, it, it ain't nothing like Apparently. that. Ain't nothing like that right now. Oh no! Fuck or no. even last year. <laughs> oh fuck! Give fuck! Him, give fuck! Give him the last ten years. Fuck pre-coronavirus, but. Th- I've never heard of a more productive year in movies, man. No. <laughs> what the fuck is that? The no. Goonies, bro? Are you kidding That's me? What I'm and Back to the Future? <sighs> fuck that. Get Goonies, fuck Rambo, two, yeah. Rocky Four. Uh, that, that alone, man. You could have fucking. Oh, God. <laughs> Daniel, where are you going? We need you. All right. Uh, going into budget, I'm going to just jump into that. I was real surprised. Some, I was like $900,000. Really? It made. Two million. Oh yeah, that's crazy. It really is. That's, I was surprised, but I want to know: Good. is that two million collective over the years? Uh, I thought it was it box office. I don't think it's box office. I, I think that's like gross over yeah, over time. It, it had a cult, I, it's so like, it's a cult following thing. Yeah, I don't. So I would expect it would make more at this point. Kind of. uh, that's true. No, because there aren't many people that fucking know. That this movie apparently there were enough for us to, when we went to that goddamn fucking yeah you think convention. that's two that's that's fucking two <laughs> millions worth motherfucker like hey that's statistics right now you had you said you had seen Reanimator when I was yeah when I was little but you didn't okay no, but you I weren't too cognizant of it no no I was just like and he hey, cool and horror. Daniel had never seen it so that's four out of what or it's three out of four I mean you know extrapolate that to the population. 
Well, I think it's pretty good. So, it's like, six, but so okay. Uh, again, uh, when did this movie come out? Right, nineteen eighty-five, October yeah. nineteen eighty-five. So, like, I'm extrapolating to two million thirty years later, kind of bit, and like that's why I'm just like, mm, as far as a cult following, as, as, going, uh, well, as far as know, VHS expect, is concerned, okay. I mean, even if it's nine hundred million after the, all all this time, I mean, it is a significant amount of money. What did it make box office? That's it, what I was thinking. The it, didn't say. Box it didn't say. Twelve dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I do want to touch on the directors and the producer. I'm Brian and is now because made society. Yes. Oh, hold on. Yes. Oh, sorry. We'll get man. to that okay, in just a second. Yeah. <laughs> Stuart Gordon is has been a sorry. big uh, proponent of uh, speaking on behalf of like uh, H.P. Lovecraft and his uh, adaptations. How so? And I and I say that because of the movies that he's made. He made because Stuart, of Jack Wester Gordon. Yes, I am. He what made uh, now from, okay. from Beyond, which I okay. have a Blu-ray of that. Reanimator movie. from hey, Beyond. Herbert West is in that movie too. What the hold fuck are you talking about that movie? Hold on. Jeff, Jeffrey Combs. Hold on. I'm sorry, Jeffrey Combs. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Dolls. Yeah, Jeffrey Combs. Sorry. Which is a uh, another horror movie. Which one? Dolls. That's not a. That's no. not a. That's not he a made that one? Yeah. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. He was a part of that as really? well. Really? Yeah. Uh, the Pit and the Pendulum. What? Uh, yeah, uh, wait, I've seen wait, that, wait, wait. One, but uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Ford, 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 Brian Husna, Society. Society is also good. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. No, <laughs> yes, no. my friend. Yes, my friend. Yes. How far? Uh, li- how how far? Live in the- for the hunt and the smell of the shunt. How the fr- fucking fucking? <laughs> how <society>? far? <laughs> how far in the genre do you think Honey I Shrunk the Kids? Yeah. It would take one scene to make that movie a fucking body horror monster mm. fucking movie. Let's be real. That's yeah, a Disney movie, though, right? It is a Disney. And movie. I would have never fucking said Stuart Gordon. I, hold on. If I was who who was who was the CEO of Disney at the time? Right, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We'll talk who about that. Who was the CEO of Disney at the time? I, I would I can't not say be like. Sure. You know who I want on this fucking family film? A guy who made Society. <laughs> like, let's get these fuckers. Uh, Stuart Gordon also involved in Body Snatchers. Castle mm. Freak, The Dentist. Uh, I need uh, oh, Corbin Burke. Corbin so Burke. Oh, oh, Jesus. I know the dentist. Nothing I about Castle Freak. Kid. Dagon. Nothing. Okay. Dagon's. He was in Dagon. Okay, he, you he, know what? Like, I liked Dagon for what they tried. It wasn't a good movie at all. And he was also a uh, part of the Masters of Horror, which he did, the where Jeffrey Combs portrayed Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. Which one, what was the title of that one? Uh, that was uh, The Black Cat. Sorry. Oh, okay. Okay, Brian... Uh, Yuzna, let me just get this motherfucker because Favorite Master of Horrors. This screw, guy, this guy is also fight, fucking great. Right? Hold on, uh, we're we're talking about Brian Yuzna, which is the who's the producer of Reanimator and the movies he's been involved in. And I just want to make sure. I just want to. I just want to show, like, as a producer, which movie, and it, you're gonna be surprised probably by this rolling. Uh, again, we said Reanimator, From Beyond, Dolls, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, yeah, Warlock. No shit. Yeah, Warlock. Jeffrey Combs is a Warlock. Bride of the Reanimator. Yeah. Here you go. The Giver. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Mark Hamill. <laughs> That's the sequel. Silent yeah. Night, oh, Deadly Night shit. 5. That's the Giver 2 Dark Hero. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm only really familiar with the anime. Uh, Bryce, yeah, you ready for this? Yeah. No, that? that's Return that's... of the Living Dead Part 3. Who used that? Yeah. Okay, Jesus is that the one with the Christ. chick that sticks in the, right. the, the that's glass? Right. Okay, that's right. That makes a lot of sense. That's Our, some um, silly shit. Arachnid, which is really? probably another like mm-hmm. Spider movie. He was in Dagon, the Bride Giver. of uh, Beyond Reanimator. Not, Re- Arachnid, he, he, not he, arachnophobia. No, not arachnophobia. Okay. Beyond <laughs> Reanimator. He Thank continued you. that as well. Thank you. Um, let me see here. He directed Society. Of course. There you go. Um, he did also again. He directed Bride of the Reanimator. He did directed the second one. Um, part three of Return shit. of the Living Dead, uh, Necronomicon, which is another movie kind of based on Lovecraft shit. Mm, um, I love HP Lovecraft. Also. No shit. And let me see what else. Um, <laughs> he was he I was a writer from Beyond. I, what's funny is that he was a writer on Honey I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Disney, you fucking dumbass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So and I, I, I just want to, I just wanted to make a point. Well, actually, that- you know what? Fuck that. That's what Disney had balls, man. Disney had shit. On it, man. <laughs> Disney's like, no. you know what? Get these fuckers who do body horror. Get these fuckers on this. But you know what? 
Give me the guy from fucking Ghostbusters. Give me that fucking sidekick motherfucker. Let's put him in the movie. Fucking bring back. <laughs> you know what? Like you're right. Let's, They're absolute let's garbage. Fucking mangle all that shit together. Let's They've see what been happens. Shit for like fucking 15, 20 years. But if they're gonna fucking bring Rick Moranis back in, yeah, Rick Moranis. That's what I'm talking about. I will get, get the Rick Moranis and the fucking H.P. Lovecraft motherfuckers. Get those people. Let's make this yeah. movie. The, the imagine what ET would have been like if Yuzna and Gordon fucking directed actually, that shit. It would have been good. He would have e. eaten. had a dick for a head. It would have been that interesting. <laughs> that scene where he was like yeah, Necrex, right. man. Yeah. That his finger would have been, been like, glowing. Yeah. His mm. fucking the tip would have been glowing. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, the thing, the. the E.T. Fuck home. What I'm trying to get across is that like Remember. these these uh <laughs> body these people that have been involved in horror movies have made fucking hundreds from the kids of shit. and all sorts of shit in general. Yeah. Like, uh, was, okay, so like Honey Shrunk the Kids wasn't necessarily bu- supposed to be billed as a comedy. When I think of it, like it's or, a Disney movie. It's a kids. I know, movie. I know, it's a but comedy. it was it was almost like a fucking horror movie. They're well, fucking strung down can't, to can't, shit. No, no, and exactly. Just like, Fuck me! What's and going on? I told Bri- uh, as I said to Bryce, I go. Almost it took. Like it would take movie. one scene. They are terrorized by to t- ants. to like to fucking bo- like turn yeah. this into a fucking huge monster movie or like a, some kind of body horror yeah. movie. Well, like well, it would take okay. just the hun- minimal. Wait, wait, did did he have? Did they have anything to do with Honey? I blew up the kids. No. no. Uh, see, uh, uh, damn that. Movie, see, dude. Honey, I blew up the kids. Don't you mean straight up? Or, it could have been fucking an Akira moment. Or honey, <laughs> as he was seen, <laughs> honey, I blew up my. Could have been like Tetsuo, like oh, Connie died. The fucking Iron like, Man, fucking like Tetsuo <sighs> Iron Man. Like, no fucking, shit, they could have got all not not Tetsuo with the Iron Man. Well, okay. that would have been good too. What's left? We go in the ratings. We're gonna talk about ratings. Okay, ratings. All right. Okay, so um, we're gonna talk about our ratings real quick. Give our ratings for this. Fuck yeah. Part one in the horror trilogy of Reanimator, and I'm gonna get Dan. I'm gonna let Daniel go first. Oh shit, man. Um, I enjoyed the fuck out of this movie. I'll give it a solid four. Um, four yeses. <laughs> <laughs> four yeses out of five. Four yeses. Uh, Roland, what about you? I I'd give it a four. Like I, I really like this movie. It's fucking. Fun. It's super fun. fucking fun, man. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> titties, gonna, titties, dead people mm, coming back to life. Mm, mm. Funny fucking dialogue. Silly shit happening left and right. Yep. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with a four point five out of five. Always gonna top yes. shit. Don't you? Oh, no shit. I'm, I'm agreeing with Daniel here. I said four. He said four. Yeah, I, said four. Yeah. I, think I said four to five. I said four. Four out of five. You said four point five. Oh, I thought you said four. Yeah, yeah. no. I said so four. Four, four point five out of five. Read on that right. shit. Four point five out of five. No, no, not even. I'm sorry. That is the wrong rating. Oh God, he's going for a five. Four point seven out of five. God. Four point seven uh, five out of five. Uh, <laughs> are you sure it's not a four point seven eight? No, four point seven five out of five. This, this, this is one of the near perfect horror comedy I, i'm probably more of a fan of horror comedy movies in general because return of the living dead is probably like one of my favorite movies of all time and that Isn't is also that a horror comedy you have like the chick or the dude convincing the chick to like eat her brains and it was like that like total like prom night scene that's part two. Number <laughs> Well, uh, fuck you, Ray. I'm, I'm talking about. Part I was one. trying <laughs> to relate. I, I, I do. Oh. I do appreciate that. Uh, part um, one is where they're in the, the fucking morgue, and that's a Ray. Um, if we can talk about that for a second, uh, that uh, no. that's probably yeah. Well, you know what? Fuck you, Daniel. <laughs> uh, you know, talking about how you're well, like you, you man. fucking worked as a mortician for a while. I, I always wanted to be a mortician because I felt like I was hoping the movies would be He like was that. a mortician's aide. Well, yeah, mortician's aide. Whatever the fuck. That movie, when I saw that movie, I was like, I'm fuck. always I'm always a person's aide. I was like, fuck, I want to work in a morgue. Maybe the bodies will come back when I work there, man. Bryce, you're rating. Oh, yeah, you go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Oh, shit. Ahead. Uh, <laughs> four, four, 4.75. I'm going on a five yeah, out of five yeah. clit licks. <laughs> Headless. <laughs> headless click licks, yeah, man. Well, it wasn't mm. headless. Wasn't? It was torso less. Oh, yes. Oh, well, shit. I would have Fuck loved off. to have seen if, if if I had directed the movie, what I would have done is as he's licking the pussy, like the juice is coming out of the neck. 
Uh, that's how I would have. Anyways, uh, I mean, I fucking love this movie, dude. It's it's H.P. Lovecraft. It's Yuzna. It's Gordon. I love those directors. I love society, so I love that. That's he, right. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it a fucking five. I don't give a shit. I, I respect that. Um, have have you, uh, Roland or Daniel, ever seen Society? No. You should no. watch fucking Society, dude. That's all I'm going to tell you. And, and actually, I would say it's quite prescient of oh, what's going on right, right now with the elites. <laughs> uh, nah, man, I'm just saying it's it's good. It's right on. sure 80s. It's pure 80s schlock, but I don't know. I think y'all, I think it's right up your alley. I don't know. All right, so um, those are our ratings. And again, please join us on. This is the first part of um, reanimated trilogy, mm. mind you. This was a long episode. It's fucking long um, shit. Well. It'll be a little bit tighter back uh, when we do uh, the second episode again because Will we have to. We have to. Well, it? I, I'm gonna say because uh, oh, Roland, you promised me that Ray? we have to preface this with uh, Roland and I talking about meeting Jeffrey Combs. Oh, sure. We talked yeah, about sure, a lot yeah. of like history with this movie and with the actor himself and how much we love fucking Jeffrey Combs. If you want to support us in any way, please. Uh, you can also buy shirts. Um, support us on Patreon. Uh, short shirts are available at www.teespring.com slash MoQuest Studios. Uh, we'll put the link in the episode description and the YouTube um, description to uh, the MoQuestStudios.com storefront on Teespring. Um, also, uh, also rate and review us on iTunes, uh, Apple Podcasts, uh, follow us on Spotify, if you will, whichever way you listen to any podcasts. Oh, also uh, follow us on social media, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter at MoQuest Studios. Um, you can just check us out on any of those. Patreon, Teespring. Well, Teespring is our merch. Um. Teespring is our merch. Patreon is if you want to hear exclusive episodes or any, again, unedited like this one you're about to hear. Um <laughs> So uh, you can throw us a few bucks if you wish to do so. Donations are appreciated. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, we would like to continue this um, far beyond. We our, will. Um, we will. Like, hey, we, we will continue what? this, you but uh, like, if you want extra you content. help us, that's great. Exclusive content. <laughs> um, toss, just toss a couple of dollars, yo. My name is Ray, and I'm your host. Uh, we also have a... Uh, this is me. And Pacific Northwest Studios. Oh, not frozen in time. I'm right here, chilling. Um, this is Daniel. And in studio, a clean bill of health, Bryce. Have a good one. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Bryce, it's solid. I already said my piece. There you go. All right. All right. All right. Excuse me. <laughs>